It's EZT here on the very first stop for the 2023-2024 MK1 Pro Competition. My name is Ultra David. I'm here with Mr. Aqua, who's busy, so we'll get to him in just a little bit. We're going to have some fantastic players ready for you up here who have made the top eight. As you would expect, we have some of the very best players in the world. Woo! That was a lot of Mountain Dew, baby. Let's go! We're getting started. East Coast Throwdown, top eight of Mortal Kombat 1. First matchup, two legends of the game, Ultra David Rewind and Sonic Fox getting us started here. What a weekend it has been. 300 competitors ascending or descending down here into Connecticut to throw down in the very first stop of the pro competition. Nearly $13,000 on the line total with $10,000 coming in from the pro comp. Almost 3,000 from the players themselves. And we are narrowed down to eight. Sonic Fox ready to fight not every, not just everyone in the top eight, but ready to fight that camera too and give it some some sensual looks. Ready to, ready to make it rain in this top eight, hopefully. I don't know what the matchup is gonna be out of the gate. Two training partners, two legends of the electronic sport throwing down right now, David. It's, it, it, we are ready. Here, here's Fox's run. The only Salmon, 3-0. The Struggling Black, 3-0. Costner, 3-2. Uh, that was close. This is for a rewind. Uh, then we had 3-1 over Samij. 3-0 over Plural Might. 3-0 over Pulse. Sonic Fox. A pretty good run in their own right. 3-0 over Disaster. 3-0 over Gene810. 3-0 over Skeezer. 3-2 over Dialog. Here's where things get interesting. That was close. Here's where it... Mm. That was close. And then... 3-2 over Splash. That was close. Then 3-0 over King Gambler, and it is the character matchup that we were looking for between these two, Reiko and Rain. What an interesting one, uh, matchup it is, because this is one of the only characters that can consistently shut down the water bubble of Rain in this matchup. Very, very uh, counter, counter zoning is Reiko going to set up like this, but first they go into Sonic, and look at that damage, 408 to get us started, making it rain indeed. Rewind in control, trying to get back in control here. Sonic Fox comes up, he's got the, they got the hit confirm, up close. And broke before the setup was coming. That full charge on the projectile of rain gonna cause a really good knockdown that can set up all the water shenanigans that he has. The second of the geyser comes out anyway. Gonna put the knockdown in the rain god. Putting him down, sit down, rewind. Sonic takes the early lead. Gets with double red into the corner we go, and here we go. What is the mix up going to be completely hidden? But it was the low, and ready for it was rewind. Barely missing the mid. Back to the wall now. Rewind. Trying to get out. Bullying him with the pressure. Multi hitting two at any point. Could break armor, even the stand two of Reigns. Knocked down. What's it going to be? Just damage. No setup. Okay, I lied right to your face. Portal's on the screen. He's going to put a, a double portal. If he double. If Portal comes again. There's plus frame setups that can come. The confluence beam that can happen. No, rewind. Still fighting. Scraping his way through this. Trying to just move forward out of that corner. Not for long. Fox back in control. Setting up the whirlpool in front. Watch out there. With rewind trying to mount it. There's a lot of chip. And there's enough chip for Fox to take game number one. This is a character that you know. This is a you know this character you, you well. You can stop the sentence right there, David. This is a character. This is a character in Rain. When the game was first shown up, when Rain was first shown up, we were like, oh, this is a zoner. He's, this, this is a Premier, dedicated zoner, big Premier zoner, Premier premier zoner, zoner. And then as the game came out and has evolved over the last month plus, it's a little bit more to the character than that. And at this point, Fox is out there saying that if you don't think that Rain is top tier, you might not be playing that character right. That's right. But isn't it crazy how the projectiles are what lead to a lot of that? A uh, sure. A lot of that set play. It's definitely a big part of Rain's game still. He's, of course. Just, he's just premier zoning up close. Okay, for sure. For sure. Yeah, yep. That's yep. what it is. Yep. They didn't put that part in there. No, yeah. They didn't say where Rain would be zoning from. And you know what? Among these two, you know who's the premier zoner? You know who's the premier zoner among these two characters right here? Imagine. <laughs> it's it's, it's, uh, it's maybe Rico. It's the giant dude with a spear from Outworld <laughs> yeah. and, and not the guy with a staff. But, you know, you could be playing him like that. The way that Rewind plays him, he has, it's not just about zoning, maybe not even primarily about zoning, depending on the matchup. With Darius, that means that he has huge damage out of command grab. When the man's seen okay, it, spin on right him. as we say. 
And the best time to do it right there in that slight negativity of blocking the double overhead. Minus six if you're there with Rain. Yeah. Always, a, always a guess of if Armor's going to come or not. And that's what Cyrax is all about with Rain here. Everything into Geyser, everything into Cyrax is going to be the name of the game. Mm -hmm. Here he comes. Bring him back up for another chance. Straight beam, not into too much. Look, it's Rain trying to get in on Reiko. Putting up a bit of the wall with those ninja stars as Rewind up against the wall. Big pick right up. there. I love that every time he knocks him down, he just checks with stand oh. two. A natural oh, armor movement. break built in, and that's really going to be the round for Sonic. The Full straight control. shot cancel movement. Building meter while uh, Rain's doing it. Kind of a win-win. Super underneath. sick character. Again, setting up chip, setting up trying to pressure anyway. Denied by Rewind. Jump cancel. Fox. And this is something I feel like Rain needs. <laughs> what? Detrimental to the, drain, to the game plan is you have to let low rip at some point, and Sonic is committing, and there we go. Gets the confirmation of the, off the 2 one, one Rain gods. Those Rain god checks are so smooth and very, very quickly timed by Sonic, immediately checking the space with oh. something big and active. Big forward movement on a rewind, dashing in, trying to get the button for himself. He's got pressure. 250 into up close, not for long. Cyrex makes it all safe. Oh, look at the meter build, almost has full stack right now. Sonic full control, washing the feet of this man. Everything into Geyser. Geyser into Cyrax. That, and that's good chip, by the way. Backing off to exactly the right spot to get down to anti-air. Sonic Fox, two games to zero. Trying to make their way into winner's finals. And just like in those previous sets, even going down to the wire, we didn't see a lot of setup action. It was just this. Big damage cast outs, 40, send them full screen, yeah. throw, throw, put something on the screen to try to react to. And I love that he's done a really good job of getting to Reiko, because that can be tricky as Rain. He's back at the character select, especially when dancing he, around on that screen. Especially when he, Rewind's been playing, he has kept everyone out with just down four and projectile alone. General that alone. You back. Not return, Reiko. All right, looks like we're going back. Well, in. I was about to ask whether he made a change, but the game just gave us the answer right there as it's right back to Reiko Darius. And again, there's a couple different cameos that you could play with Reiko that I think are really strong with him, but they don't give you the big damage cash out of Darius. That they do That's not. exactly what Rewind has gone back to, steals the big turn. That's crazy, that one was on a hit there. There we go, the scoop. Boom, boom, boom. Beaten in the face of range. Trying to flatten that nose a little bit, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I'm, playing, I'm roasting my own character. That's your boy. That's why he's got the mask on. Down for advantage. Oh, okay, back off just a little bit. Back three. Significant damage here. He's going to be up close to. He gets to pressure. Where is he going? Mm, in the overhead. Rewind. Looking good here. Tries to armor on reaction to the cross up, but a little too quick to go underneath the jump in of Raid. Great defense. Oh, not the Fox is bubble. coming, though. Get the spinner. Yes. Oh, he tried to move in maybe too far. And then amplified stars. One of the better chip out options in the game. Yes, it is. Look at adaptation by Rewind to recognize that Sonic had been pressuring with highs on awful lot on the knockdowns. The wake up down one's going to stop that. The back three not working out for him here. Cyrax coming in to homie. Knocked out of it before he could release from the skies. Not oh. this time, though. Pick it up, yes. And again, he's got. That was such good recognition by Sonic because that was only pick up a bull by the fact that he got to the corner there and was able to close the distance. That was insane. Portal's Steals out. Steals a little bit of turn with the portal there. Is there another one? Oh, yes. Oh, no. Oh, and man. that's plus on block. That's called the confluence beam, baby. You didn't even see it because they were so close, but a beam activates between the portals. Rain does some cool stuff. Oh, very cool character. Rewinds out of there. And look at that poke special, Cyrex special. Yes. So it's Rewind who's away now, but to what end? He's got a lot of a life lead to make back Fox way ahead. Fox probably knowing that the one threat right there was command grab, swung their way through that, anything in the geyser. Yeah, Fox still had three bars for breakaway as well. You know, they were in a pretty good position. No cancel. Oh, they're swinging out there. It's getting a little scrambly. Washing the feet. Just the toes are exposed from right go, but they can get a cleaning too. Wow, what a down two. I've expected the crushing blow. <laughs> Not anymore. All right, rewind. Corner time. There will be.
Heartbreaker, and that is going to be spent by Fox. But already a lot of damage. This is Rewind's opportunity. With Fatal Blow and play, anything's possible. We saw Sonic make some crazy comebacks oh, earlier with Sonic, it. Sonic, the go. movement with this character. Oh, none of you guys oh! get the clip, and oh, the jump is going to work. Is there going to be a setup? They're going to be looking for one more here. One more. And they're oh! going to go with the back dash. That's going to be it. Rewind. One, two, three. No. Alive still. Living, but not for long. And it is a game for Rewind. It will not be 3-0. So scary. Good patience by Rewind. Letting Sonic swing there through the setup. I'm assuming knowing that Rain was going to cross up right there. Didn't try to wake up and get, get it crossed up as well. We got ourselves a game. Two oh, yeah. One. It's a good match. Was not looking for a 3 0 here either way, I can tell you that. Three of the four in the winner's side of this top eight Evo champions. Ooh, the range on the back three? That's a footsie button right there. You wanna play footsies? That's footsies. That's what he's playing footsies with right there. The down three of rain. Ooh. And that's what we're talking about earlier, those quick mixes of rewinds, the low sweep, down four, and then back two, going for the dome. Mm-hmm. Oh, just a little bit outside. Wow, interesting. Sonic Fox, the audacity to try to whip I know, with right? the 70 frame. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the audacity right there. Fox is moving in. Okay. They tried to pick it up. Not quite. Rewind. Oh, Kara cancel in. The grab pressure. And here we go. The full Make it happen. Dial. Make it happen. Oh, Where are they nope. going? It's going to be thrown. Oh, okay. No, it's okay. Okay, okay. It's scary because if you don't delay, hard mix. If you do delay, throw can get you. Yep. Yeah, Rain's got some mean stuff there. Ooh. Not gonna end up mattering as, despite all I'll that. I'll tell you what's really mean. 383 from Rewind. What happens to your neck right there underneath Reiko's armpit? It snaps. I don't wanna be there. <laughs> no one does. I don't, I don't wanna be inside. Give me the spin. Besides Rain's, Rain's bubble either. No one knows what's going on in there. Armored launcher. Not the biggest damage what? here though for Sonic. Oh, Sonic actually backing off. Always goes into the range where Rain God's gonna be safe and launches really good space mm -hmm. on the specials of Sonic. Knocked down there from straight shot. Fox using that to move in a little bit, trying things out. No rewind through. Because there's a projectile. I don't think extended it because of the breaker. Darius is back. Rewind could be a threat on offense. Sonic Fox knows. Rewind said, "Thank you for giving me command grab." Because here we go. I've seen this before, fishing for it with so many lows and then mid command grab. I've seen, we've seen this bubble time though. Yeah, you notice Fox not spending bar. They are keeping that for breaker, just in case. Oh, that's gonna be chip. Oh my goodness. That's a super effective move in and of itself. Water that's being electrified. I mean, it seems pretty good. Well, why is Rain the only dual type in MK1? <laughs> dual type, uh huh? Yeah. Here we go. All right, where are they headed? Put it out. Okay, no. No mix-up right there. Was but, not an overhead. But could have, I believe, broke armor. Ooh. No Cyrus to worry about, though. No could get crazy. Backdash by Sonic. Dashes up into the one-two, though. Scoop. Mm. Oh, he does spend Darius already. Fox is not going to bother breaking. Maybe? No, okay, not going to bother here. What development but we that's got here. a lot of bars, a lot of resources for Fox. A lot of money to spend. Two Cyraxes to their name as well. Yeah. Rain on with a couple yeah. of bars too. Oh, oh no! Maybe it's it so did quick. get through. Oh man! You thought a flash of lightning wasn't going to be quick enough? Are you kidding me? That's a three-one victory for Sonic Fox into winners' finals of this event. And always the crowd pleaser. Splitting the seas of their enemies. Sonic mm -hmm. Fox. Fox into winner's finals. The other side of this thing, we haven't really yet gotten to talk a lot about the other players in this top eight. The Mighty Unjust will play against Ninja Kelly. When's, you know, all those, when's Ninja all, playing? All those questions from the chat. All, all when's Ninja long. playing? When's Sonic? When's Ninja? Where's Where Ninja? Is, where is Sonic? Where's where is Sonic? Ninja? They're both in this top eight. When's Sonic Fox playing? Uh, probably in about another 30? Okay, okay, okay. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But coming up next, Ninja Killer both on the winner's side. So, you know, let's not, let's not look too far ahead, but, but we do have the potential of that going down, which could is be. insane. Could Guys, be. That, that, that is, everyone watching knows that that's what could happen here. Yeah. We're not going to jinx it.
we're going to find out very soon, because when we come back, more Mortal Kombat, guys. It's going to be Ninja Killer versus the Mighty Unjusted winners. And welcome back, everyone, to the Mortal Kombat 1 Pro Competition, the very first stop of the tour here in the 2023 to 2024 season. The Pro Competition hasn't happened since 2019, 2020. Mm. It's been quite some time. The last time the Pro Competition happened, grand finals of the entire thing is what could be finals tonight. That is the destiny that every other player in this bracket is trying to stop. They're trying to stop the two elder gods of Mortal Kombat from colliding. But the story of Ninja Killer in this tournament. Ultra David, you just looked it up. I did. Would you like to tell everyone? I am fearful of what it means. Uh, this man has had an amazing path. He has not lost a single game. I didn't say match, Aquaman. Nope. I said a single game. 3-0 over Curse, 3-0 over Diz, 3-0 over June Dragoon, 3-0 over Too Easy, 3-0 over Turkey Sucks, 3-0 over Zombat to make his way here. Mighty Unjustice had a great path as well. 3-0 over Zeskul and over Violets and over Wise Gemini. 3-2 over Dio. Nevertheless, he's here. Kenshi Sub, Raiden Cyrax. Here in the winner's side. Sub armor on. Uh oh. Looking committed there is unjust. Forced off the breaker too. How much meter have we got? It only took a couple of seconds here. With the Ninja Kill trying to be outside of that range. Yeah, exactly. That spot right there is going to be a huge point of contention between these two. Oh, Raid's been problematic for everyone. The bullying pressure. When's the lightning going to come? There it is. And Kenshi uh, unable to punish it probably from that range. Matchup specific there. You saw earlier a character like Shao something really quick and far able to catch on the slower side with that sword. Again, that range. Dancing back and forth out of it is Ninja Killer. Again! Okay, committing more to the string this time is unjust. Did that same range earlier where he whipped just the forward two as well. Ninja gets the knockdown overhead. Overhead again! I'll be surprised if he changes up. No. Shit. Patience. Oy. Oh, hold on. Maybe a chance. In fact, they took the hit actually. Jeez. They have saved him right there. Let's see if I'm just going to do something. Sent those out. He brings okay. out the boy. He's got a creep, though. He's got a long way to creep. He's got a whole stage to creep. He has to creep, and it takes Sento even longer to get there. Oh, no. Sento was still lingering. He was creeping. This fight is in honor. Not long enough. Fight. Oh, man. A couple bars here. He's got Cyrax as well. Just to the corner. I love that he does that. I think he sacrifices a, a couple damage for a corner carry. Definitely make a note of that. Oh, look, he didn't have two bars either. It's okay, he just built it. I mean, what he's doing is just building a lot of bar. Look at this. If you look down at the bottom right, right oh. there. Ooh, yeah, that was legit half a bar he <laughs> built. He, just, <laughs> he only had one bar moments ago. Yeah, 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 that's stacked. That's, that's one of the first things that I like to note about Mortal Kombat 1 in comparison to previous iterations that you build meter like crazy as Ninja off the back throw, Come back to the on. corner, sit down, 250, you know it's still not over. Come on, and good luck avoiding whatever's coming next. No, he backs off actually, rather than trying to chip Sento again. He's got a full stage to creep. Not gonna happen. Game one goes to a totally unconcerned Ninja killer. That's great that he won the world championships with the same look on his face. Yeah, yeah. Emotionless. Round one, fight. Just very ready. Never out of his own head. Just so focused. Yeah, yeah, exactly. His movement's been great as well. Yeah, he's in and out of the range we were talking about. But on top of that, on reaction, he shut down the uh, ghost drop a couple of times, for example. Gorge, Santa Claus. Hey. Yeah. Okay, okay. First real up close Sento series. The sandwich begins. One loaf on the right, one loaf on the left. Raiden in trouble in the middle. Oh man, I hope that sandwich. Because, oh my goodness. Can he play the game though? Ninja, I think, is just kind of letting go of things. Doesn't want to come off any bar. He did flawless block in there and negated a bunch of that chip. I'm seeing some straight Sento from Unjust, where he doesn't have access to those spear specials, just the sword. It says, unhand me. I'll adjust by, I'm scared if Ninja gets the hit. Oh, this is okay. a character that can really pump out some damage and just blows them with the normals. The Sento stance, wonderful round by Mighty Unjust. Yeah, Sento stance still has some buttons in there. He's got some good tools. Oh, back! And immediately denying the activation point on Sento. That's one of my favorite things that Unjust does. Somewhere, 
Random given time. Back dash back to sub zero. He threatened it there. Okay, flies over. Punish! Ninja Killer. In for some chip, in for some meter building. Know that you're respecting it? No, one just is ready. For the staggers, he says, you're gonna come off that meter. You're gonna come off that Cyrax. And you're gonna give me my turn, whether you like it or not. And you're trying to close that gap. On just playing hard to get right now. Uh-oh. Now he's got a corner. And barely okay. missed times the Cyrax. Yeah, Can't possible. come off that overhead. Mm -hmm. Very tight. I'm just trying to backdash, but there's nowhere to go. Ninja harassing. Finally brings out Cage. And and that's the beauty of just not doing the kind of standard. Just stringing the Cyrax, stringing the Cyrax, yeah. or, you know, stringing the Lightning Cage. Really change it up. Get Huge the meat going just. in the middle. What's the mix? Raiden in trouble. Low first time around? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Patience. Try to make Let him jump out. Gave Ninja that much time? Is he in time? Yes! Ninja unfazed. Meanwhile, terrible things are happening to Raiden. He seems cool with it, though. That's right. He's got the amulet. Can't really do a ghost drop. We've already seen Ninja Killer get right past that. Nine oh. seconds on the clock. Oh! Denied. And he had no fear to just kind of walk into the range of that and do it. Confidence from the champ. I'm gonna push back on that. To, to where most scenarios, if you block a, a low poke, he's gonna be able to check you with that forward two. And then just doing it at such good distances yeah. in the pushbacks to deny it. Yeah, that's really a huge, huge part of that of this match, as we've been saying. That like one-third screen range in front of where Kenshi is, maybe half screen. Ooh, that was it for a moment. Resetting it slightly, Ninja Killer. He can get back in at any time, but first, oh, Unjust will get things going. Bop to start. Something to sleep. Here he comes. Down four trying he to chase. Woke up. He woke up swinging, too. Ninja Killer, patient. There's the bar, but Sentinel's gone. Hey, my Unjust says, thank you for Spirit Stance back. Hey! Oh, no sub to call. And, and you know that immediately. And the Rising Karma. Oh, he tries to st hit Stagger right there. Ice Fest on. All right, well, the boy's out. Now he's just a block, He's right? frozen for a little while. For a long time. Oh, no. Look at all this. That timer on Sento is taken up about a third of it, half of it. Point but one now, HP. Sento's alive. Can he make it all the way back? 14 on the clock. He needs more. He needs no. more. He needs more. Can he avoid any chip? Oh, and he takes it on the way forward with the electric fly. And so Ninja Killer takes another game. Even the smile on just right there, recognizing just, just what could have happened right there, the, the magic of being down to the wire. Again, we mentioned it before, but coming into this set, Ninja Killer has not lost a game. That continues. That was probably the closest he has been to losing a game. Let's see if Unjust can continue to sit down with my EX Spirit Charge. Comes off all the meter though. Started and letting go late in the blockchain like he did towards the end of that last round. I don't know if he's just, just missing flawless block to avoid some of that chip. Sub Sub's already there. The, the ice shield not even there for him. Sub Zero hard to track you when you're moving forward with some of those normals of Kenshi. Here we go. Oh, there's his best friend. Yeah, but he, the boy's out. Not for long. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> let him live. <laughs> Let him live again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to chase. Oh, the jump. escape is perfect. I don't know how Ninja is able to read what the puppet is going to do as well as, as his opponent. He's not yeah. only in his opponent's mind, but he's in what his opponent's puppet's mind. That's insane. But there's also knowledge. Knows all the options. Oh, yeah, of course. Though. Beautiful flawless block there. I'm just getting the timings down. But is this damage done? Ice Armor on, doesn't have to be worried about projectiles right now. And doesn't want to test. Oh, okay. It's either teleport or... Oh, he's not going to punish? Yes. Ooh. The headbutt. Ooh. He's going to have more work to do still in this round. Eight seconds on the clock. Got a slight life lead. Okay. Steals a bit of a turn. Ninja! A flawless block! And it was perfectly executed. The 
flawless block saved us. Wow. That unjust. is a tight timing right there that Unjust knew exactly when. Can't get any better than that. And that is, you know, going back to talking about how, you know, different players from different eras are using mechanics maybe a little bit better right out of the gate. These MK11 players and their flawless blocks have been so wonderful to see. Again, dancing outside of the forward two range yeah. as Ninja. Even here, just standing in it. So let's go ahead and walk forward to get into the range of it, and I'm going to react. Yeah. He's Ninja so scary like that. He tests you. Constantly. <laughs> right for the range again. Says, all right. Let's play. Ninja's just patient. He's got a huge life lead. He doesn't need to move or take risks. And again, another late flawless block miss. I love how he knows all these. The last round. It's like all these little bespoke conversions out of Cyrax that he's ready for every time. Flawless block at first, but not the second time. And it is match point. Ninja Killer to get what seems like the faded winner's finals with Fox. It really is. They say, they say choose your destiny. I thought this was supposed to be a whole new timeline, Aquaman. It was. Are it we was, seeing the it same thing? Are we seeing us. the same thing anyway? Luke Hang said, slightly different story, same ending. Oh, Again? Jump yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, you're right, no. <laughs> what do you mean, Lord Luke Kang? What, what do you mean by again? I swing it. Oh, okay. and I see right. the cold shoulder for once. Oh, okay. Ninja's out of there. Not, not, a, not an aspect of Sub Zero that you see an awful lot, but it's plus on block. It, it's good, it, actually, it, it, yeah. It, it gives you breathing room. It's a, it's a good reversal. Yeah. Waits it out. Unjust, just look Randy and Asento, and how many times have they dashed up into each other? And Ninja finally just had a button winning for Unjust this time around versus dash up block. And wait a second. Oh, he's Bit going damage. for as much oh, as he could right goodness. there. 518. Got him flawless. He did not get the timing, and just like that, setting up the winner's finals between Ninja Killer and Sonic Fox. Where's, uh, where's, when's, when's Sonic Fox playing? Where's, uh, where's Ninja? Where's Sonic Fox? For the, for, throughout, the past, Ninja throughout the past three years, we've been in hundreds, thousands of chats. Yeah. With hundreds and thousands yeah. of people asking, where are these two? Well, they're here. They're playing in winner's finals. Again, man, I just have to reiterate, Ninja Killer has not lost a game. It was close. One of those games was real close. We were just looking at it. Every four eyes. Real close. Nevertheless, Six. has not lost a game. Oof. Here towards the end, those last two, Unjust able to get a round on the board. The acknowledgement, Unjust still alive though. As is that you saw earlier, Rewind, still alive in this, yeah. this top eight. And losers still. Littered with Mortal Kombat finalists, Mortal Kombat sure. medalists. This is insane. Just, just to start the story in the new era. That is Mortal Kombat 1 here at the Pro Competition. Four offline stops, a lot of online action. Check out the Pro Competition here for 2023 to 2024. Exactly. And in this, we still have, as you said, a lot of the way to go. There was only two matches, only to decide our winner's finals. This is what losers looks like, which is where we're headed next. Pulse versus King Gambler. Winner of that will play against the Mighty Unjust. And then down there at the bottom of losers round one, video games, yo, versus Zombat. Pulse Gambler. Potentially the only mirror that we'll see tonight. A good couple of the Johnnies down there making their way through, but a lot of variety in that top eight. Yeah, for sure. You know, Reiko, Rain. We've seen the Raiden, Kenshi. About to see some Johnny Cage. Yeah. We have the potential for some General Shao's chicken. We do. That's possible. We'll see what comes up in the next match. For Pulse, it's been a longer road. Had to get 3 0 over. Uh, B Dog, 3 2 over Destroyer in a close match. Uh, 3 1, B Dog again. Then 0 3 versus Rewind. Some of his results. A lot more than that. He's in loser side. He's played a lot of matches. Just highlighting a few for King Gambler. A bunch of matches as well. Looking at 3 1 over Big Daddy G, 3 0 over Blue Linkies, 3 2 over Big Daddy G. However, it was Sonic Fox who sent him to losers. 0 3.
And that match with Big Daddy G, insane. Brought that back from the grave, it felt like. The yeah. King Gambler, very clutch, as he's known to be. And Pulse here having to get through a very deadly mirror uh, with B Dog. So if there's someone warmed up for the mirror, oh, yeah. it's going to be coming go. into this. Yeah. There you go, sir. And B Dog, no slouch. Really no, making sure. for himself, making top 16. Congrats there. Yeah, and, and, and everyone making top 16, top 24, 64, 98, 222. As long as you showed up, uh, that's a pretty good placing to me. Ooh, what a difference in cameo. Okay. Allowing him to do slightly different things. <laughs> like I said, slightly. Yeah, I mean, that's like, you know, I, I love the, the team aspect of this. And it really makes a huge difference on how your character plays, on how your team plays. This is not a character game, this is a team game. Because I can sit here and say that both cameos can do the same thing. They can do something, something, cameo and B+. Plus. I mean, that's but, right. But they do it two completely different ways. Yeah, like there's a big setup factor with low, with low hat. You can steal turns offensively with low hat. It's your turn for even longer as Johnny with low hat. But you don't really get the same like extended chip series that Cyrax can get. You don't get some of the same combo conversions that Cyrax can get. Yep. But you can get unrelenting pressure and longer pressure with that low hat as we got Pulse here in a position to show us it if he can get it going. No gambler. Has got, has got the Cyrax train on the rails. Yeah. Choo choo. Okay, out of there. Ooh, Kung Lao to the rescue. Footsies, footsies with Lao hat. Ooh, un unexpected to finish the string. It's very rare to see Johnny go beyond two normals because that's just how the pressure is built. Right. Yeah, he can still be plus after two, depending on what he brings out. Or you, oh, interesting, interesting. Low hat blows it up. Trying for the parry. Oh, I don't know if that was like a shadow kick attempt or what with that stand three or four out there in Oblivion. We're in the corner. Gambler still had a check, even though only a little bit of the helicopter hit right there. We did the jump early, almost recognize again. Setting up safe jump into pressure. One, one, oh, such a oh. bully string. It's his turn still. Oh, blocked in time. Maybe looking for safety, but no. Oh, and that juggle was a little weird and finally committed. Pulse is unafraid to go for those parry reads. Big damage. Yeah. All oh, the crowd's in. Says Escape failed this, this time. Threw it out. Lauha gets to set it up. No, no, denied. Oh, that was a lot of whiffing and perfectly punished. Game of Thread of the Needle there. This could be it for the death. Yes. Cue cards help. <laughs> and, and then he throws the phone. Come on. What a waste. Nah, he's fine. He's got plenty of money. I, this is John Carlton. He's doing fine. How do you think he, he can afford the mansion still, man? Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Gotta have them burners. Oh, man. Oh, man, the movement <laughs> in this matchup between these two is so sick. Lao Hat's still there because he held on to it. That hit stun means you get the combo out of it. I love that we can visually see both players recognize when they go into each other's 4 3 range and go, man, I don't feel like getting with that right now. Yeah, I know, yeah. So let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. Real quick. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're a little too close. Oh, that was a big challenge. Just that one special. And that's what separates these two as well, is you're going to see a lot, lot more of that rising uh, the uppercut of Johnny with the Cyrax assist yeah. versus the Lao, where it's much more grounded. There she is. Oh, didn't believe in it. Here we go. Gambler. Moving on. Two bars spent. Cyrax lets you set up the bomb. What a luck. The low head almost dashed into it. Gambler. Oh! Yeah? And you want to do it! Pulse with no fear. Just like before. In a very similar situation. Johnny with the parry fatal blow. With his back to the wall, which was just all bet everything in, in the moment. Normally, you see Johnny's try to throw those when their opponent's back is to the wall, so you gotta guess, try, try to jump. But no. The straight use of the parry mechanic of that fatal blow coming. Mm -hmm. Yep. Pulse. Man, the movement in this matchup is a treat to watch. Oh! Mm. Keep it up! No. Nope. You Got the in and out, out and ready for that grab. Was Gambler's, he ducked under. It's his turn. And Johnny, guys, not the biggest damage dealer. It's just that honest, near 300 every touch, so that boom. Time to play. Good blocks there, and oh my goodness, the Lao hat. Yeah, it's happened a couple of times. I really like that. 
covering kind of both sides with just a 4-3 cameo input. Okay, not gonna into the flesh monster. I think it's an abomination back I don't there. know, I can't look at it. We're no. moving out of there. Oh, okay. We're going back. That's it. That's just Shang Tsung's Christmas tree. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> All right. Let me look for the star on top. Mm. And they're so aggressive on wake up. I, you see them four dashing on wake up so much and dash canceling just to try to close that gap and get normal range again. Ooh. Okay, it's Pulse. Finding the moment for himself. Backing off. Oh, oh. Wow. The brave call. Uh oh. He said, I'm not going to drop this one. It ain't over what yet. What a price to pay. Look at this 400. I'll wait it all out. Yeah, he did not want to even take a risk. It lasts a long time. The active frames are there for a long time. I'm really smart. Want to swing into that? Doesn't have the scariest lows or, or low starter even. Right. Could just weather it. Gambler, one with Cyrax. If you guys ever get confused, if you, if you see the spin, it's Gambler on the hunt. Mm -hmm. Taking away a self bar on block right now. Pulse. You know, both of them. It just comes down to being right on the stagger when you've got enough of those frames to get nine out in that four three. Look at that knee. Getting to work it. Just look at it. Dizzy somewhere smiles. Look at that knee. I know. Every time it's it still called Dizzy knee, I think. It sure is. Shouts to Dizzy. They're at NetherRealm Studios. And every cage player in the world is probably diddling. Got him on that the punish. Exactly. It's on my pulse. Shaking his head. It was so good. You know something's good when you shake your head like, ooh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> Got the water too. Staying hydrated. Looking for Rain's Hydro Boost from MK9. Pure. Oh, sorry, Pulse. Oh, I got this. Guys, I'm sorry. I'm going to get flamed for that. Ah. You're in trouble, buddy. Pulse here. So back to character select. Yeah. I'm not looking for a character change. Might there be a cameo change? Gambler was on Sindel early. A couple other characters, cameos. Well, he's definitely considering it. If he does change, if you're not familiar with the rules here, if he changes characters, then his opponent gets to change cameos in response. What if... So, Johnny Cage, yeah, yeah, never mind. Wow. It's not gonna be the case. I'll start to run a wild scenario. Okay, sure. Whoa, dude, you are so cut. Yeah, I'm on the Santa Clarita diet. <laughs> Round one. There's nothing better than Johnny Cage interacting with Johnny Cage Johnny in Cage, Mortal Kombat. And nobody which loves Johnny canon. Cage more than Johnny Cage. Which is canon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In this Mortal Kombat, all timelines are possible. So it's being plus two. Oh, and he swung through it. Johnny Cage's parry is so unique in this game to where you don't want to commit to something that's going to leave you in much recovery. That's that's the difference versus just getting straight up punished for it. Yeah. And that one parry gave Gambler all of this throw to the skies. Is this death? Yes. No. Bet just chip is all he needed. Gambler probably a little bit of the smarter uh, in that situation to go for the shadow kick, wanted a little bit of the special because now we are back in a Mortal Kombat. We're building meter matters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Oh, wow, she punished. He gets to hunt on the approach. Low hat. Oh, did you see it slow Johnny down as he's grabbing it. Yeah. Grab in the air? The animation's so good. We have a good animation. Oh, that nut punch gives me shivers every time. Doesn't have two bars for the full thing. So Pulse moves forward. Out of the corner was the throw. That was why it worked. Gambler was looking for that to be the back throw. And you see a really similar use of Cyrax that you saw from the other characters too, where it's poked special Cyrax. Johnny Cage gets it, but that added mix-up of him coming from the sky. A lot of people try to up block and get blown up. Really different kicks. And oh my goodness, is he going to be able to press the button? Low hats back again. Oh man, all these turns stolen back and forth. Pulse. They're both having. He's got low hat. And oh. it is there. He got it out of there. In true assist fashion. Hell yeah, you did. You did. You sure did. Pretty, pretty that cheap. guy in the back liked it too. Can you imagine just watching these two clones fighting each other and not leaving? Yeah. Why, what are you doing here? Oh, well, almost got sniped. 
Uh, awkward pick up there. Almost I was going to fall out of the corner on that second hit. Upkick Gambler, feeling it. This is... Right. Losers, uh, guys, those are eliminated from the pro competition. Gambler with a huge life lead. Looking to end it, maybe? No, not quite. 299 saw the down one and says, thank you for doing down one. As long as I didn't see the uppercut, my turn. Yeah, down ones, down pokes in general are really minus in this game, giving the opponent sometimes straight up a punish, yes. depending. But in any case, definitely the opponent's turn. That said, really important turn stealing tools anyway. Yeah, but that little bit of time between the matches, paying off, getting composed, settled. It's a big moment, it's a big stage. A lot of people watching, millions watching. Millions watching live. Around the world live. Yeah. Hope they can't hear me. Right back in. Back to Madame Bo's restaurant. Yeah, just brought her out. No Cyrex call. This is the only stage that I want there to be an interactable. And I want it to be Madame Bo being throw a throw <laughs> She's pretty hardy. She'd probably handle that. Oh, yeah. If she can handle the table. Yeah, exactly. She can handle being. She fell two stories. <laughs> she was fine. This is a big drop. Big start by Pulse. Immediate wake up. Micro Duck. Dang, Gambler. Woke up with violence there. Loading some hype, ah. too. That's something we haven't seen in this mirror at all. Yeah, it's true. Where is the hype? The hype has not been needed. The sauce has not been needed. It's just been the basic page of Cage, the game plan. I don't know if the sauce is unneeded. A lot of dudes in the background there who have taken from it pretty deeply right now. There on that bar. Yep, still low hat. Ooh, we came out some extra resources there. So you know what? I can do some damage too. No Cyrax needed. Man, the fact that he gets to keep his turn that long, oh, that is terrifying. Pulse moving forward, escape failed. Again, he was looking to maintain corner. Doubtless, disgustingly spaced. Low hat on the approach. You're gonna get hit anyway, exactly. Recover time, not get punched by the hat as well. Just needs one more pulse. He's pushing him to the corner. Guess it's right on the 250-50, Gambler. Man, this his throw mix-ups were excellent throughout that match. As he consistently had the right read on which direction to do that Gambler was not expecting. Three to one. And with, with the path that Pulse was given, I mean, cementing himself as one of the Johnny Cage, if not the Johnny Cage. Maybe so. In the competition. Up next, Video Games Yo and Zombat. Taking a look back here at the Mountain Dew replay. The redo. The do-over. This is an excellent mirror start to end. Again, Pulse. Be given the gift of having to do this mirror twice in a row in bracket, yeah, there was a little bit of time in between top 16 and now, but his match for top eight was an excellent mirror, um, and it was, I guess, another Johnny Cyrax in particular, right? So got a lot of a lot of the matchup uh, knowledge there, has had to deal with the mirror a lot in those tournaments. An excellent start to this game for Pulse. One of just a couple of players in this uh, top eight that we can say is like coming from the MK11 era. Uh -huh. Because we've got quite a few eras covered here. For sure. Going back quite a while. Thank you, Sonic, for being able to cover all the, all the eras <laughs> yeah. by yourself pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but Ninja Kill, you know, almost representing that kind of MKX era of coming mm. in. Same thing with, with, with King Gambler. Uh, so it's really cool to see Rewind as well. Uh, coming from kind of the Middle Ages, then we got some of the Old Ages, and then the New Ages. <laughs> or sorry, eras. If yeah, you wanna, let's go with eras. If you want to yeah, be, yeah, be on lore here, yeah. Let's go to the next match and the first, sorry, the final of the round one losers matches video games. Yo! And Zombat. So VGY was sent down to losers by Dio. It was three games to one. His losers run, though, has been pretty amazing. 3 0 over Gooby, 3 0 over Alcatraz, 3 0 over El Kukui, 3 0 over Ludi, 3 1 over Titanium Tigers, Whoa. 3 2 over Turkey Sucks. 3-1 over Wise Gemini. In that match of Turkey, if you guys didn't see it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Down 0-2. Goes to character select screen. And says, you know what I need? What do you need? Some of the generals check in. Went to General Shao, reverse 3-0 to stay alive in this tournament. 
For Zombat, it was Ninja Killer who sent him down. He was one of the people who <laughs> Ninja Killer has destroyed. 3-0. Other than that, though, 3-0 over Dio. 3-2 over Tigers as well. 3-1 over Spiro. 3-0 over Furious Pillow. He's had a pretty good run himself. Taking a look at the controller there. So it looks like the idea to start out with, again, is Shang. Yeah, because that's who we started out with earlier. Yep. You know, we, we talked about the general shout, but that Shang has been cooking as well. Has a really good zoning game. It's one of the few that's been implementing uh -huh. more, yeah, yeah. more of a zoning game. zombat has got a few characters up his sleeve. Is it Lou that he's going to go back to here? Yep, sounds like it is. We've seen a few from him, Lou, Johnny, Raiden. Whatever the situation calls for. Yeah. Zombat's ready. What you've done to me in this timeline. And I, what you I was about to say, Shang sounded really angry in the background. And I know why. Is there a different... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I, yeah it's I can true. understand. It's true. I get it. Lord Liu Kang. Yeah, Lord Liu Kang did some savage things. Round one, fight. In this new timeline, he immediately mm. calls down the low hat. And that's one of those things that f it forces you to make that kind of decision, though. Once it's on the screen, you're forced to do something about it it's or, or it's holding gone. it. It's on head, me. Ooh, right. He had Cyrax. He's all right. Man, that would have been a sick conversion, but okay. And of the couple Shangs we've seen in this event, you saw uh, one of the other Shangs on stream was really only old Shang focused. VGY, very young Shang oriented, can go in and out of both. So beautiful to watch. That's what you got to do with this character. If you're going to play him at a high level like VGY is, it's in and out of the different options. Oh, that was that was something. That was maybe him reading it. He's going to jump over the maybe, maybe, low maybe, yeah, because yeah. that's such a good anti-air. Yeah, I can see that. Zabat moves forward at just the right moment to take the round. Well, he's the chosen one. Sometimes he does forward four, and no matter where you're on the screen, you get sucked into it and get hit. What are you talking about? He's the one who made this timeline. Did he choose himself? What are you up to, he did. Lord Liu Kang? Yeah, you're right. He didn't choose himself as the chosen one. Yeah, are you kidding me? come on. I want a recount on that. Uh oh, oh. That could have been gnarly for him. Rare drop. Oh, I want to see that damage that the chosen was capable of. And no allow to pick up off the back throw either. So did, that's that that's that trickiness of Cyrax is that that helicopter spin a frame off and it's completely different what it's gonna do. Oh! I received the big combos. Yes. So swaggy, but lost the corner because of it. Mm-hmm. Zombat trying to back off slightly, not quite. VD, VGY trying to harass. <gasps> Too far. What happened, oh, Zombat? No. It ends it, up it, being it, all right for it, Zombat. I, was he was he going for the brutality? Because it looked like he was fishing for brutal. But didn't hold the button to maybe get it? I don't know. This is still a clean start. Where's on that looking unbothered? Right back in. BGY right back in with Lou. Yeah, we know as he as we said, he's got another character on deck. Re if he needs it. Yeah, but but will refuse to go Shao unless he's down 0 and 2. Right. Because because that's how strong I think BGY feels Shao is. That is, that is just not fair. I mean, it, and, and, and rightly so, because it's a yeah. boss character. Yeah, I mean, that's, yeah. It's like stocks in, in, in older games, you know? Shao would have three stocks. <laughs> that makes total sense, <laughs> question mark. Ella, yeah, maybe. Maybe. Don't overthink it. Oh. I never overthink it, Aqua. That was a clinic. Round two, fight. Yeah, lots of big screen control and zoning. And Lou, Lou for Lou's part, can do a great job at shutting that stuff down. It's got an enhanced projectile, there it is, that blows up other projectiles on its way forward, for example. Has a loaded one eight those straight skulls as well. Always has Kung Lao teleporter where available, but we're not gonna see too much. Just because how slow it is. Easy to react. The ends and outs yeah, not, not really like a random neutral tool. Easy wide. action too. Really in control. Oh, that, yeah, that was a real combo. Could have had more. One of the rare instances where you see uh, Lu Lao have to actually go to someone. Normally the complete opposite. Cyrax is going to hit What a best him. friend. Come on. Even while he's on his own on the screen, he's such a good character. Whoa. Did you wear on the hunt now with old Shang? Back in for the spin. Morphin back. 
They got the throw. Ooh. Poke special got it though. Zombat has three bars. Ah. Oh, and don't test VGY. He's been reacting with that Shang Fatal all tournament long. Double red. He's not done yet. Next to throw. Woo! Is that shit? No, that was follows. That was follows. Perfect. And the overhead from downtown. The least expected thing. So visually tricky. I don't think anyone's blocked it really. <laughs> I, I saw that didn't. Like, several wow. times. And good to kind of micro walk back into the range where it kind of hits at more of a tip where, uh, where, where it's probably going to go over a low, a poke attempt. Yeah, I can have a low so crush smart. for sure. There's a lot of low crushes here in MK1. Beautiful. So, so cool every time. Mm -hmm. Setting up a little bit more pressure. And out of there. Instantly back to Young. He's safe. Oh, man, that's good. Very well timed armor through a lot of the low hat shenanigans. It's VGY. Even while he's chasing it down, he's timed the armor to kind of beat him before there's time to get an armor break attempt. That wasn't it, though. Yeah. Guess we're there this time. Nice work on the flawless, denying chip damage for a little while. Okay. DGY with an excellent whiff punish. For the round? For the round! Here, the crowd finding clapping. They have been waiting for a full Shane combo, I think, this entire time. Earlier, it kept getting ended early into the syringe, or, yeah, and then in the transformation, everyone was like, oh, we, we want more reps! We want more skulls! More ground eruptions! And Shane wishes he could take that round back, because he's already halfway dead. Yeah, that's true. Jeez. <laughs> Where's his buddy Gears? Snap back that time. Ooh. Hey, hey, hey! Perfect little loop there, and there's that forbidden overhead. Mm -hmm. I think 100% success rate so far. The conversion on the grab allowed by Kung Lao Teleport. Ah. Honestly, I think it looks better with the old version of Shang with those pants. Oh, yeah. They're both super cool. Oh, Does not complete the string. Didn't Close. want to take the risk. Falls block. He's honestly done a great job at negating chip in this match. Goes to the Shang sweep as well. Just checking each other right now. Good morph. Poke move. Pork move. Backdash. Interpression right there was so sick. Not enough to kill. Uh, needs a little bit more. Setting it up. Mm. Nice chip on the way through. Tied up. One to one in games. One to one in rounds. Here on home territory for Lou. Checks the approach to the down three. He's an advantage to get going, but the flawless blocks from everyone at this level in this Ooh. stage of the tournament has been incredible. Nice work to get to the other side, to get pressure. He's got a lot of resources here. That was false block finally, ah. Huh? That's the risk that you take as Lewis for completing that string. You leave yourself opened up. The walk down from VGY right now just to get forward thrown. Not too bad here, but gives Zombat the space. Chilling. Zombat, as soon as Lau was ready to play, he was back in. Again, Flawless Block. Again, they're getting a ton of chip. We're changing things up with just a poke special. Cyrax is there. He's back. Flawless Blocked again. So good on it. Man, if you can consistently do that, you just you are playing on a different level than everybody else. Oh, even a false block, the low hat on approach. VGY. He's feeling the need of a clutch moment, and with the armor. Oh no, doesn't get that, which is gonna be be the knockdown in front of him. Nice to do all the space. That one drop with Cyrax. Unable to close the gap, he would have had some pressure right there. Two to one. Alright, now, now down. Now down. Two games. Do you guys think it's going to happen? I mean, VGY just halfway smiled. I think that he just thought about it. But it's a lot to think about. And there's so many, yeah. so many micro things to think about. Okay, we're at the character select screen. Because What's the choice? Because even just matchup-wise, like, that's... I can't It seems downplay. like it might be tough. I can't downplay. No. But it is a little bit of a tough one for Zhao. Okay. Like, on paper. Like, I'm like... <laughs> okay, all right. The crowd knows what they want to see, but I want to see VGY give himself the oh, best chance. Whatever he thinks is the best chance, and looks like and the crowd's he going thinks crazy. it's General Shao. Shao, sub. And this is the one to take away what's going to give him the problem, which is all of those projectiles full screen. Yep. And sub also gives General Shao a lot of damage. That makes sense. 
with that ice armor you referenced, that means that some of that zoning from Lulao is not really going to matter as much. And freeze on any hit, allowing him to get out the damage buff and keep to keep it going. Usually hitting for about four to four fifty in the frozen general sounds chicken. It comes frozen. You just put it in the microwave for for five minutes. You're good to go. Is that a back throw? Yes. Here we go for the ride. General Shao, a character that does not go on the ground lightly, has a wonderful wake up himself. One of the best armor moves in MK1. Big buttons galore. Zombat has three bars. He had three bars near the start of this combo. He chose to just tank that. And VGY had access to some more damage right there, but opts to leave the axe on the ground as well, thinking ahead. Axe is back in his hand now. Completely different character. Man, we were talking about the zoning that is potential for Lu Lao, but that's not what this has been about at all. Zombat has been much more focused on the approach. Now waiting it out. I got close one. Wants to establish probably more of a strike throw. With this one. Nice. VGY We're on the hunt, though. He's getting towards the corner. Another spot that away from so far away. Where Shao might struggle hey. is in that forward four range because that's, you know, it's hard for Shao to get some buttons out overhead, though, without Axe, a completely different animal. Three bars gone. He didn't even have to think about that hat. Oh, come on! What a button to press with 13 on the clock and it's match point. As we see the first missed, I think, overhead from VGY's. Uh, oh, Shao. This is another. Miss missing all those normals right now. Okay. He one, two, two to land. Ooh. Takes his 340. Leaves the axe safe. Plus. And he's going crazy right now. That was also a plus in yeah, the corner. Yeah, that's still his turn again. PGY at a range where he's hoping maybe to whip punish, hoping to get things going. And the one time he goes for the low project on low profile to stand two. Gets okay. Another one to hit. And look at the health bar of Zombat. Boom. Broke the armor. Ooh. Tried no! to pick up, though. It didn't fully launch. He gets Axe back. Laying down the law of the land. It's the low. Tried to get a big hit out. Tried to get the slowest. Normally, he's gotten the overhead, and he's going to get burned for it quite literally here into the ground. Here comes the Mortal Kombat logo, ladies and gentlemen. Burned into the ground and etched into the history of Mortal Kombat is this player Zombat, formerly known as Combat, named after what he does. And does it well. He moves on. VGY is out. Great showing yet again for him. We talked about the strength of his loser's run. It ends here, but nevertheless, awesome performance by him. So we're setting up for the next round of losers. The Mighty Unjust versus Pulse. And it will be Rewind versus Zombat. Huge one down there. That's Losers Quarters Finals, guys. If you guys are following along in the bracket, as now only six remain in this top eight VGY. Fantastic run in this event, making top eight, breaking the curse. So many ninth places traveling the massive events for VGY, broken here in the new era. A really cool duo of characters that do two completely different things other than representing Outworld. Let's go. Man, that was, that was some footsies right there by Zombat. So again, three games to one for him. And let's remind you where we're at in the bracket. We're still waiting. Hey, where's, uh, where's Sonic Fox? When is Ninja Killer playing? Man. In a little while, what's Winners Finals? We're going to set that up for later. The Mighty Unjust and Pulse in Losers Round 2, and Rewind versus Zombat in Losers Round 2 as well. Massive all around there. Everyone on standby for Sonic Ninja. We got Un Unjust and Pulse, Battle of the Northeast right there. Tri-State, Team Tri-State from last night yeah. in the building. And Rewind and Zombat. Again, matches that have happened throughout Final Combats and Finals throughout the eras. And sitting down is Unjust, is Pulse. As everyone anxiously waiting to see how this all unfolds. This is the beginning of competitive Mortal Kombat 1. Years ahead. It's exciting. I thought coming into this weekend, of course, as many of us did, that Unjust had a great chance. And it's only Ninja Killer who's taken him out. And Ninja Killer did it 3-0, but that's the case for everybody. 
he's taken out everybody 3-0, so I don't feel like there should be much negativity <laughs> you know, associated with that if you're unjust. You don't want to lose like that, of yeah. course, but you can't feel as bad as maybe it otherwise would. So now in this loser's run that's starting for unjust, he's going to hope to move forward. Pulse continues his loser's run. He's been in losers. He's already making it happen. He is ready to go. 3-1 over Gambler in the last match. He looked good. Wait, did, did I just hear Baraka? Yeah, yeah, it's a button check. It's... Uh, yeah, but uh, I have seen Unjust Breakout. Okay, Baraka yeah, that's before. true, that's true, sure. Yeah, that, yeah. That, that is one of his characters. Yeah. But so is the cast. <laughs> yeah. Why doesn't he make Shane? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see what he does. It would be the first Baraka that we've seen in the top eight. First Baraka in a little while, actually. They're both smiling, which is a really good sign to see here. All right, here we go. All love here in the NRS community. Here we go. This quarters. Yeah, I'm here on the, the slicey slice still. Right back to Baraka. Baraka Cyrax is my guess. Yep, there's Cyrax. Why do Earthrealmers idolize you? I'm just a big old pile of sexy goods. Man, I love Baraka's lines in this game. Poor sad Baraka. <laughs> poor sad Baraka? Poor, poor Baraka. No, poor, poor previous versions of Baraka. That, no, you're right, yeah. Yeah, this, this one is sad for all I'm previous gonna ones. I want to say it on behalf of everyone. He deserves the Tarkat. Thanks, bud. You're the, welcome. The Tarkat has made him a superhuman, in my opinion. Sure, does, <laughs> it, right. have, does it have some downsides? Maybe. Yes, yeah, sure. Is it not all upsides? Okay. But on the other hand, pretty strong out there. <laughs> You're making valid arg arguments right now, David. Yeah? Maybe Tarkat is the way. Maybe it's the way. Every Molina player agreeing with you out there. Trying to play a bit of a distance game. It's definitely something that Baraka can do for a while, but as you see, if he's trying to stay too far away, you're just going to end up cornered, and that's exactly where he's at now. Ah! Oh, spins out. As well may stop that approach overneath the Kung Lao hat. He's building these back. Just, just chilling. Says thank you for the turn, finally. Oh. Paul says thank you for trying. How much is this going to do? Pretty good, 352. Oh, yeah. Pulse is still there. Still his turn. Unjust knows that. Just trying to block it out. Lots of funky timings on this. It's... And then the classic idea as Baraka, you try to press the button, and then you, you think, ah, they'll never think that I'm going to backdash into a button again. But this time, Pulse expected it. It was all. Oh. So much blood comes out of you when he bites that neck. That's that tar cut. 230. Pulse unafraid even with Baraka knocking him down to wake up with the down four to steal a turn there too. There's some audacity. Oh. Footsies. Knows the exact spacing of that 2-1. Has seen him plenty of times before. Call the man? No, he did not call Cyrax. I'm just starting to crumble now. Gotta go for some booze. Oh. I'm on Johnny's side right now. What a duck! And Pulse with three bars. Looking to end it here, and he does! And game one is over just like that. Kissing the trophy. Unjust. You know, I, I've talked to qu quite a few people about Kenshi versus Johnny. Just not liking that up close without the Sento out. We'll see if he's going to go back there and just pray for the hit. No. no, it's a rematch quickly. Back to Baraka. It's very much dual and match on both sides in this matchup. Baraka's got great footsies. Obviously, you know about the great damage, the great pressure, the great chip. A great corner carry as well. Ability to, if he wants to, take away wake-ups as well. Take away turns with parries. Yeah. And frame it. Talk about turns. Look at this. And frame okay, finally. Oh, oh. My. Got a little too crazy. Over. Dancing on him is Pulse and Johnny. Does not matter. It's still a flawless victory. Facing through him multiple times. Not just to falls, get the victory. But a hype one, too, is he just maxed the star out on the bottom right. I hope we see it. Lao Hat setting it up on the way forward. As he did in the last match versus Gambler, Pulse's throw mix ups have been great. Pick it up all the way. been sick. Well, yeah, it got kind of funky oh. there. I just realized it at least. Even there, as two unstoppable legs met each other on such an awkward frame, 
it down before. Not a fit advantage to jail into the string there. Full awkward as well. Kung Lao's gonna send him full screen. Look how quickly they still dash up in each other's face. They're just like, yeah, screw it. Even though we're full screen, mm -hmm. let's yeah, box. Both have good movement, for sure. Let's box. Is Joe Pulse trying to do right there after the low hat? He went in and then still back dash, trying to bait afterwards as well. That's still a clean round. Unjust. Knock him into the snow. Final round. Fight. Again, escape fail. Took, took the skies on this approach. Mm. Great damage and corner carry. Ooh. Yeah, awful lot more. Yes, so sick. 455. Are we gonna see the hype? Now maybe the time. Could still be saving it. Another whiff goes punished by unjust. That was not gonna be a lot of damage. That was just chop chop there. I'm giving up a lot of bar, but Pulse! Moving in, trying to move in, setting up with the hat. Oh, the one whiff still has the recovery on the 4-3. That knee again. What a pickup! Pulse is here. Duck! And he could end it! Unjust! With... Calling out Pulse... Uh, me, I, 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 the mind games there and the layers uh -huh, are uh -huh, too many uh -huh. to even comprehend. Couple of guys who played each other. Unbelievable. <laughs> so one one, the Baraka pick, looking all right for him. Big damage. The footsies are there, contending with a fast Johnny, setting things up. On reaction, he's in. Pulse again, maybe trying to back off, setting things up, getting in with the hat. Yes, here it is. Knocking Baraka into the back. Stuck by the wall. Okay, pick it up. Cyrax, can he get there in time? He's there, Pulse. Great damage available to him. Trying to maintain pressure here as he comes in. No denied on the enhanced chop. And also, maxing that star out. We could see Hype in the next round if he wants to bring it out. Unjust. Oh, forbidden combo, the juggle. And now coast to coast. We were on the left side just a few seconds ago. On the right side here by the wheel is Pulse now. Finding the hit again. Hype, he brings it out. Let me hear it. The pressure from Pulse maintaining it. So much damage. Unjust finally with a chance, though it's broken right away. Pulse does not want to see any of that. He's got hat immediately. That actually hit Cyrex to deny the safety. Okay, back dash. Back one, foot sees into damage. Into corner carry. Stand four was the idea. He got underneath the Pulse. And he can still take this round. Is it in time? It was not in time. What a comeback in that round by the mighty unjust. Johnny away. He'd love to set up hat again. Here it comes. Holding it. Allowing him on the approach. Again, hat. The setup of that. The forward movement factor of that. Setting up already again into the corner. The duck, let's go! Woo! It's not enough, but... Oh man, Unjust has a chance. It's not a big one and it's not gonna happen. As Pulse will take it. And it's two to one. What a game, back and forth. Almost two rounds in a row. But, man, what a comeback by Baraka in that second round. Didn't happen in the third. And he's right back in, unjust with Baraka. Running in here in his tournament life. The wake up from him. Maybe the idea is to play a little bit faster, closer, trying to get in a little bit more actively. If so, Pulse with the footsies denies right away.
Johnny in and out. You never know whether he's going to be in or whether he's going to back off and set up the hat or whether he's going to be in and set up the hat as here he is yet again hunting for the round kill. Got it. It's match point pulse. Damn it. Round two, fight. Cyrax. Cyrax wasn't there though. He was too far. Oh man, Pulse is firing on every cylinder. Again, as he hunts for the pressure, Lao Hat up again, up again, up again if he wants it. Stealing his own turn. As has been the name of the game, Unjustice underneath doesn't have bar. Commits to the low. And now Pulse going to work on match point. Guess it's on the 2-1. Sends Kung Lao out of here. Oh, I thunder he activated. Let me and goes it. below the belt. Boss. Eliminating the mighty unjust. Here at East Coast throw down the crowd. Going wild. What a run it's been for Pulse. Man, we talked about it before, but in this top eight, continuing to look fantastic. Three to one over two very strong players in a row. King Gambler, then the mighty unjust. If you've paid attention to competitive MK leading up to this event in community events, yeah. Pulse has been one to watch, both these guys. Absolutely. What a classic, but Pulse finally making, I think, the big run to really kickstart something special here. That's how it seems. Again, only defeated by Rewind so far. Other than that, he's taken a lot of big names out in this run that he's had. Just beat Unjust. Gambler before that, B Dog twice, Destroyer as well. Who was in rare form in this event? Whew. Yeah, oh, yeah, so many were. Shout out to him, yeah. Pulse will move on to the top four of this. Just more points mm -hmm. in the pro competition and in these offlines. So many points on the line. That a lot of people, this very first event, is how a lot of people like to try to secure themselves in the pro competition as well in previous ones. First event is very important. Yeah, for sure. Big points. And only a certain number of events actually count towards the pro competition this time around. Is it three out of the four or two out of the four? One of those two. Rewind and Zombats coming up next. Rewind sent down by Sonic Fox. You saw that at the start of this top eight. It was three to one. Fox looked good in doing it. And now it's going to be Zombat as the opponent. Here we go. Combat. Zombat. Zombat. I messed up every time, David. It's going to take us time in this new era. Yeah, I understand, Mr. Aqua. I mean, uh, yep. I mean Aqua. Yep, yep, been there. Reiko. We hear the Reiko. Reiko Darius and yet again. Was being a Lou Lau. Lou? Raiden. Raiden Lau? Oh, Raiden, excuse yeah, me. Yeah, Raiden Lao, yeah. which is kind of yeah. a... Not, not your average day Raiden. But for a button check, it just might be. Yeah, I guess we'll see. We'll see what happens there. Two big names here playing early, guys. One's going home at fifth. Only Ninja Kill has beaten Zombat so far. Only Sonic Fox has beaten Rewind so far. We are here. The upper echelon, as it were. Of this game right now that we're getting. Reiko, Darius, and it is Cyrax instead of Lau. You're nothing without that amulet. Even without it, Reiko's power, bringing up some wonderful points. You. I just want that known. He was a human before being given that amulet. He's a pretty good human, though. Reiko pulling a Decimus Maximus Meridius. Smelling the sand before entering combat. And this man lives on oh. it, thrives off of it, this Raiko. Do, do okay. it for the general. Hick and Frump comes out. And Rewind will get another chance at pressure. Right away. And everyone falling for that last hit of that string, expecting the stagger. That is the idea. Just like that, Zombat's got the corner. Oh, denied! And Zombat gets whatever he wants, which could have been a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> Given a gift really there by Rewind. 
And, and Zabat said, you know what? I'm going to give you that one. Next time around, I'll hit you maybe a little bit harder. But one of the few to actually bait out Rewind's armor successfully. Yeah, yeah, we've been seeing that all weekend. Right. And that's a, a little bit of a delay on that, too. Rather than just keeping it meaty to make the flawless block timing tougher. Just in case the full delay right there, maybe. Or is there some kind of secret sauce with the armor being quick enough? And look at the buttons from Rewind. Mm. A man that has not skipped a single leg day in his life. Draco. Oh, it is slow. Ay, make him No, no. Torius. But where? Darius, the first time. Darius, please. He didn't even know. Darius, please. He said you called the wrong target, man. You called it over there. Back to zoning. Trying to stay away. Oh, OK, all right. He went the first one, but the second one was like, I'm, I'm the actual big one. I got you. Zombat, dang. I love that a lot of the raids now are because people are so good at flawless blocks that they'll just do singular approach into Lightning Cage. Yeah, you really got to mix it up. Yeah, she is. Hey. Oh, oh, man, a couple of timing issues for Rewind in this game so far. Costin Daily. Uncharacteristic. No, no bar spinulature from Common there either. Staggers. With the full rip of the low. Resetting the situation is Zombat. He's out of there. Two bars. Three bars spent. Got to do it. And it's close to having enough, but no. Rewind wanted to close the gap. You need to get in the grab range. It's your only real viable yeah, way right, right there. Yeah, right, right. Very smart by combat to go, I know where you want to be yeah. in the range of this bad boy. As he lights up the screen. Darius, please. That man just yeah, went Darius, spinning away. The one time. But why? He just. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen that one video where it's like when you, when you mistime your Darius assist? And the, it's a video of the actual IRL fight going on and dude just whiffs the full kick. It's yeah, incredible. Yeah. That's exactly what just happened. <laughs> it is. It happened in pro comp. Darius roundhouse air. It's been Rico the whole way, as far as I know. We'll see. He's considering mm, making oh. the change, it seems. Oh, Kung. Lao? Lao Goro? All right, I thought it was Rico the whole way. Shall we go double or nothing? But it's not any longer. <laughs> Get ready as Lao Goro. Goro, a great teammate for Kung Lao. And adding add to our variety of this top eight as well. Yeah, that's true. Entering the fray, both Kung Lao. And the Prince of the Shokan Goro. He said, the, the, always the homie Goro will raise the roof with you anytime. Take that man to a party, it's going to be unstoppable. Not anytime, like every 20 seconds, because that dude takes his time hey, coming hey. back. So you got to be precise about when you want to bring him up, but I'm sure Rewind will have that. He's used to playing Darius. Darius is a once around cameo. Yeah, it really is. He, he's actually giving himself a little bit more to play with here. Yeah. <laughs> but you think Oy, that. No! Combat's going to take a bit of advantage. Again, not quite as much as he could have. Whoa. Rewind playing a little bit of Burglow right there for a moment. Yeah. Will not have to block through Cyrax. But Goro always making that armor a plus launching situation. That raised the roof of Goro. Such a compliment to any special and move in MK, really. Just a costly resource. Yeah, it just takes a while to come back is all. Oh, yeah, head. you called it out. Wow. That is pretty gutsy. Oh, that one almost got punished there. Okay, got it. He stays away oh, still. We're the navigation. Electric fly in the sky. This is what we came to see right here. That's some Multiple movement. Multiple time kicks and Superman uh -oh. everywhere. And now something finally goes blocked. And the watch your health bar disappear. This will be about 400. I lied, he's still out of Cyrax. Adding about about 400, you said. <laughs> about. About with an asterisk. He's gonna get into the corner. All the way. Almost. And went full degenerate right there oh, with yeah. that kick, which tried to get you to press. This is a very old school style whiff in front of you, do something weird, and then just armor because you can. And he can again now that Goro's back. 
Zombat knows that. Zombat not overextending. Zombat tried to bait it right there with the neutral jump too, saw the whip dive kick. Escape failed again. Zryon was not looking for both of these back throws. What patience by Zombat, and then exactly the right moment there. Patience again, he knew what could come oh, up. Zombat no. called it out. Called it out big time on defense, on offense, he was there. The audacity to do it unsafely as many times as he did versus, you know, rewind that had the option to do it safely every single time. That's just being outread and outplayed in the, in the situation. Incredible by combat. Three raw super, I think seven raw supermans in total in the last couple of games right there. It sounds like back to character select is where we're going. Yep, we are. So it might be one and done for Lao Goro. We'll see what the choice is. Other, other than the first one working, combat really stonewalled up in defense. Okay. And it, back to it. Yeah. I think our adventures are only beginning. From your but, but what we could see here, and this is the beauty of the game. It's all he needs is a couple more situations where some of that armor lands. Because combat is pressing and moving, which means he's hittable. Just like this. Yeah, you're right. Knocking the skulls away. That Raiden's feet gone now. Only bones remaining. Way out of the corner. Okay, only down one though. And whose skull is that in the background? Which one? The big one. Oh, big ones. My bad. <laughs> Full string this time. Oh, oh got it. Mm, yeah, there was a missed input in there I somewhere. I think that's right. It was a dash cancel something for sure. It might be a dash cancel Goro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's the overhead. Zombat scheming in. Might have been rewind looking for overhead. That's not what came. Match point Zombat. Fight. The hat tries to fish out some counter poke, and I mean, it's not even fishing if you want them to block it as well. I can't say it's fishing anymore, it's just living well. You're talking about block confirming, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, or, or doing poke and lightning cage. You're like, okay, who are you taking from? I, I kind of want them to block it too, yeah, yeah. Later, oh, hello, both jumping back, both not wanting to deal with any of that. When will the armor come? There it is. Hey! The full conversion this time over to the steps. Oh, combat. Wood. Zombie. Oh, this might be it. This might be it. Combat's going to move on. Three games to zero. Not the result expected in that one. 3-0, I wouldn't At have thought. I, you know, I would have bet on either player, but I wouldn't have bet on a 3-0. There it was, nevertheless. Zombat will move on. So our top four, Sonic Fox and Ninja Killer in winner's side, and then loser's side, Pulse and Zombat. That's oh, going to be a big one in semifinals. Taking a look at the man right there, Zombat, as we're going to take a look back at his gameplay. Powered by Mountain Dew. The redo. Right yeah, the, that, the that, call that whole of this. Thing was powered this by series Dew. right here? Oh. This series? Knowing exactly what Rewind <laughs> would do defensively and offensively. Ugh. Oh. And then pestering. Some of the mix at the end here working for him, too. All red lows, and uh, of course, damage GG's. Shoutouts to Rewind. Great run for him. Ends up, as you can see, at fifth place, as does the Mighty Gun. Just seventh place is King Gambler in Video Games. Yo, we have our top four. There it is. Sonic Fox and Ninja Killer in Winners Finals. When's, uh, when's, when's Sonic Fox going to play? When's, where's Ninja Killer? When's, uh, when's Ninja? And then on loser side, as you can see right there, Pulse and Zombat. I think they're coming up next, David. Next, the match Yeah. everyone's been waiting for. That hundreds and thousands, maybe even tens of thousands of people around the world are waiting for. Don't do the math on that. I never do the math, Aquaman. 
Mr. Aqua, whatever you got in this new era. That's right. What we do have is another short break. We'll be back with that match after this. Welcome back, everyone. Top four of the pro competition's first stop here at East Coast Throwdown coming your way. Welcome, everyone. I am Mr. Aqua. I'm joined by Ultra David. And coming up, the match of a lifetime. Years in the making, this run back from Final Combat. The last time the pro competition was held, the grand finals of the entire series came down to those two. They're ready to throw hands, fisticuffs out there, as it were. Ladies and gentlemen, Viewers around the world, it's Sonic Fox versus Ninja Killer in winner's finals. Can I get some noise out there for some Mortal Kombat? You don't stand a chance against me. <laughs> oh, are you high, mage? <laughs> I heard that one either. Yeah, that one either. Rain Cyrax for Fox, no surprise there. Ninja has a gaggle of characters, this time it's the Johnny, Lau, coming out to play. Denied! Wanted to get offense going? No! At the moment there was anything to anything to do anything in, it's gonna be armored by the High Mage of Outworld. Come with the Geyser. Decent damage, tries to put out the Rain God. Denied, oh. so that down too. Giving Ninja Kill the opportunity to start the bully? No. Sonic is the one finding the buttons out there, just the one one. Man, what a pickup, 389. And just like that, Ninja is way down. It's moving with the, spe with, with the cancelization of special moves with Sonic into seeing Ninja going to the range of down three, perfectly stopped. This is huge, wow. The idea was a whip punish. Instead, backing off was Fox. They got the whip punish right away afterward. Denied. No, can't go up into the sky. Ooh, it's tricky. No combo. No Cyrax the call. Was gonna put Rain in a good spot to maybe put on the portal. I think that's what Ninja was reading. Trying to shut it down. He knows the lethality of it. Build some more meter and away from Ninja there. Is Sonic saying, stay away from me? Oh. Rule number oh, one. Oh, got him on punish, yes. Jump cancel up into the sky, get a little bit more damage. A little bit, I said. And a 1-1-2 one, of Rain's as well. Causing the full screen knockdown. That's how Rain starts to get a little bit of the zoning where started. If he's got the health lead, which is what Sonic has now. Just can't allow Cage to close the gap. Gets the, gets the throw. No breaker. Not going to be enough to kill, I think. No, not, not yet. Too much scaling. They need the a little bit more. Oh, what mm. bravery to press buttons right there after the low hat spinning at you. Should be Johnny's turn, but it was an idea of overextending. You could see that there was a forward dash afterward by Ninja Killer. He tried to move forward. Fox called it out. Game one. So Fox, that is the first game loss of the tournament for Ninja Killer. In winners finals, that's the first game lost of the tournament. It took reaching the top of the ladder do what Havoc to finally Psychonomy fall a step. Doesn't suit you, Earth Realmer. But can still reach the top as he makes the switch. Oh, yeah. He's trying to counter on paper. Yeah, again, we, knew, we knew he's got a few different characters. Johnny didn't work out, so fine. Oh, cool over to Raiden. He picked electri electricity on water. He's going super effective. <laughs> oh, oh. He, uh, Sonic truly tried to whip punish that low with Rain's mid, which is the 4 2 right there, but it, 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 it got B. Oh yeah, that's shocking. <laughs> Let him bounce. Nothing you can really do right there for conversion. Bounce again. Good chip damage on that too, by the way. Oh, Lord. oh <laughs> as he's doing the straight shot cancel, straight shot cancel. Oh. Hello, Cyrax. And for those of you listening at home, if, if you want some real fun here in MK1, I want you to... <laughs> I want you to listen to the opponent when they're in that bubble. I know, I know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so good. I mean, just shout-outs in general to the sound effects on rain, all the water that's sloshing around constantly. I love the sound effects here. Oh, yeah, that, even, even that guy just got kind of a mean oomph to yeah, it. Yeah. Just even when he's pressing buttons, if there's water that's coming out of his little staff there, you can hear it. Oh, there's always water coming out of rain. No meter to pick up off that 1-1, one, one, try to car throw, air. He, he's a little bit of hydrogen. 
maybe make some more water out of it. Back two, cancels in, the guys this time. And Sonic, I've heard through the grapevine, can hit confirm that back two, single, normal. Yeah, that's I, what they I, said. I, that's, that's what someone said. A lot of chip damage negated right there. Okay, Ninja, two bars spent. He's gonna need more. Like, not quite Trying enough. to set up chip, maybe? Yes. Solid round there by Ninja. Looking composed as ever. And was close up to almost get the conversion. Much harder mid-screen to pick up off a of rain god than anything. Near impossible. Mm, had the reaction, not the belief. Safe there. Fox taking their turn back, and again, stealing a turn in there as well. Oh, what a e dog. Everything right now is Ninja. That was a big commitment, but no punish. Very negative. Was that upshot? There it is, yep. Ninja denying it. However, Fox is right back in. A couple of bubbles on screen. Cyrax in. Oh. And that's the dirty of the two. You always expect Rain to cancel and go forward, not backward, and then we punish you. Huge lead for Sonic making the retreat. Possible try to stop the approach. Okay, the big duck. At a ninja killer. A lot of resources on Fox's side. <gasps> Denied. Look at the time as well. 17 on the clock as Fox is a big life lead. And look at the range of that down three. It's crazy. But with this 10. Time. Okay. Huge to negate that chip damage right there. Fox steals the turn back. Two games to zero. Ninja Killer went the whole tournament without losing a single game and now two in a row. And now we see just a little bit of Ninja struggling to get into that range beyond the down three of rain at times. Sonic's movement with the cancels in and outside of it. Gorgeous so far. It's got, they've got the 2 0 lead on rush downs. Ninja Killer. Mm. Escape failed. Right, knockdown on straight shot as you can see for Rain. And you know, getting some longer charges on those going is Sonic. Will Sonic let a full one rip? Just, just to see what happens. Oh, okay. Sonic Fox blows it up. Go a little too early on a jump attempt. Rain God close. And when you're up in Rain God, just showing up there in the sexy uh, trilogy stance, you can go close, mid, or far with how that thing comes down. And there's Sonic dancing. We'll have to come up with a name for that. Sonic just moving around with the on the screen. Yeah, I hear a little slide whistle in my head each time. <laughs> the, the Sonic slide? Just walking. Are you kidding me? Just Ooh. walk out of the, in and out of the range of that normal. That. <laughs> Three bars on, no. Oh, he didn't have Cyrex to get the combo. Excuse me, his Vaughn Fox did not have more damage available there. Seven on the clock now. It's not gonna matter. Sonic Fox is at match point. Round two, fight. The one of the two that had so many game fives on the way to grand finals. Yet here, really hitting some rare form. Mm -hmm. And I love that crouch block stance of Rain as well, where he's summoning just a little, just a little bit of the water out of the staff. To protect him. No! Oh my goodness! What? Come on! Come on! Come on! Come just on. pulled off the come first on. pro competition mid match taunt and got away with it. We're there! Come on! This is the new era! Come on! And Ninja didn't like that, did he? And not one bit. He said, You're not gonna do that to me! Not here, he's gonna throw down! Because oh. I'm attacking back for 518! Come on! What an answer! Taunt me one more time, see what happens. What an answer! Oh, I tried the same trick twice there, cancel into the low. And I feel like we did not see movement like that around Reigns buttons the previous three games, and now Ninja Kill is doing it. 
I'm hoping Sonic hasn't messed up at this point. It's not, not looking good. Uh, it's not oh looking no. good, buddy. You saw <laughs> what Ninja did in Evo. <laughs> no. <laughs> what did not, no, don't, 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 what don't, an give him, don't give him an answer. What an no, answer. An entire down three. No, wait a minute. Sonic Fox going for the full setup. Gets it going. Where is he going? Is he going to get out? Okay. Yes. Okay. Survives. No. Armor is still my turn. I know. And while Fatal Blow is in play. Sonic uh -huh. Fox. Scheming. Oh, he is scheming with movement. Big scheming. Ninja does not want to oh, approach. Outside of the range. Nobody panic. Double low. Is this going to be chip? Yes, Ninja is on the board. There ain't no 3 0s here today. He said taught that. What an answer. We just got a real match. He's actually not saying anything. He doesn't look any, any no, different no, than he's not that the first match. But we're saying it for him. Completely unfazed. We're saying it for him. Oh, yeah. He, he woke up. You're, you're taking a nap early? Would have been a sexy side switch on the charge four. But not there. For Sonic. Using every resource. Cancel. Well, try to cancel, yeah. Yeah. Okay. And, and not every day do you see Raiden's down two whiff, even behind him. Great block. Change up the timing. Okay. A bit. I think that's Sonic right there. Normally he just lets the 4 3 up immediately, but he waited then 4 3. It wasn't enough. Ninja Killer was ready. Coming in for pressure. A little bit of a conversion out of Cyrax. Just a cool 285. No big deal. Getting more and more used to throwing in the low, the low mix up, and all that conditioning now might be paying off. Cyrax. Bang, bang, bang. Oh! Mix so early and it worked. Dude, what did Ninja Killer try to wake up with? I don't know. It might cost him his life. I'll be fine. How about this one? This. He, oh, no. Ah, he'll be fine. No. Oh, he did not actually, what? That was the round four to no, I, I really didn't think that it was. Hurts. That fatal blow. That hurts. is He goes point. for the pelvis. He goes for the lineage. He goes for everything. Chance? Yeah, he is there whipping him for a while. I think that's the first teleport in this whole set we've seen. And Sonic was ready for it. Okay, Sonic. On a set point. Yeah, they've been there before in this set. <laughs> we saw how that went <laughs> the end of last game. Is there enough more overheads? But not the most lethal overhead that exists in this game. Very hard to combo off of. You're not eating damage really at all. Just the knockdown and against him again. And Sonic getting a little too carried away, I think, with these lows now. Yeah. It cancels back. He's showing Ninja a lot of the same things. A lot of focus on that for sure. Ninja Killer scooting in. He's got full resources. There's part of it. There's part of it. Oh! I don't want to hurt you. But I will fight. I think I think he kinda wants to too. Back and forth. It's Fox in. Cyrax still on the screen. Oh, get some distance. <gasps> With punish! No meter doing anything too crazy. Just some sequence to build a lot. No Cyrax though. Mm -hmm. Just the bubble of death. Sonic's choices of when to just 1-1 nice. onto the screen finds us great moments and turns. In this one, 1-1 one, one from Rain isn't the craziest and biggest normal to really put on the screen. Right. And Sonic does it a lot. Really impressed. Right, even right there, cash up 1-1. One, one. Yeah, they're just at the right spot a lot of the time. 1-1 one, one does have a good mix off it. 0 one, one, two, minus 4, 1-1-4. One, one, good flawlesses, too. No chip for you. Right. Oh, this name is bam. Will they break? Yes. Fox resets the situation. They still have the life lead a little bit. Maybe not for long, because here's Ninja Killer right up close. No. Fox calls. There's no Cyrax. So Ninja Killer gets to live. Maybe not for long. 15 on the clock, 14 on the clock. 
Ninja Killer's running out of time. And time is a ticking. Fatal Blows in play needs to get a hit if he wants to just stop the time Chip now. is not going to cut it. He's got to get the hit. Oh, super smart from Fox. The stand blocks there. Did it connect? No, and Fox knows it's two hits. Knocks oh, the block the clean heck? off to move forward into Grand Finals. Look like Fox might have awoken the sleeping demon for, after that for a few taunt. Moments. But they did a great job at getting back to control in that final game. So Sonic waiting in Grand Finals. Oh, hey, when's, uh, when's Sonic? When's Ninja Killer playing? Take a look back at the right. instant replay right from now. Mountain Dew. Like yeah, again, both. I mean, just to reiterate, Ninja Killer came into the set having not lost a game in the whole tournament. And it's not like this dude had an easy path. He took out some big names doing it. So for Fox to go up two games to zero, pretty amazing. But then, you know, in this... Next round here. Yeah, oh, the no taunt! Oh, got away with it. Up a game. Getting a little comfortable. Yeah, a little bit too much. And then this ended up being over half their life. That's insane. Responded in kind ninja. We thinking from here on out. Glad to see them having a good time as well. One second remaining. There at the end, Sonic had put in two downs. Mm. One more, and I think would have been forced to get hit by the fatal blow. Mm. So I think this is going to be crazy. If Ninja waited one more second. <laughs> Come on. No, 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 no. No, this is, this is real. <laughs> this is real, guys. You think it, Fox is about if, to time out if with the Ninja taunt, huh? waited like half a second. Okay, half a second. Uh -huh, uh -huh. second. Half a second. It, it, it may have worked. It may have that would have been the sickest thing ever. I I would have, we were I maybe in another timeline, I but not in this timeline. Here yeah. on, the, on the mic, if that had been the case. But it was not. Sonic takes it 3-1 to one and pulls combat. He's that's, sitting up, sitting down. That's where we're going next. Final match. Pulse and Zombat. Zombat 3-1 over video games, yo. Zombat 3-0 over Rewind. Pulse. Having a pretty good top eight himself so far as well. 3-1 over King Gambler. 3-1 over Mighty and Just. I know it's you, Shang Tsung. Too bad knowing that won't help you survive. And this is top four. To get into Losers Finals, your reward will be to play against Ninja Killer. They're already in such a good spot, though. You're in the top eight. You've got the big points on the entirety of the season. Yep. People that do well here, on paper, I think, can kind of chill. Okay. As far as an offline goes, until the next North American one at Combo Breaker. As only two stops on the Pro Tour will be held during North America. The first one's your East Coast Throwdown. The last one, which will be at Combo Breaker. Mm. One, one in France, and one TBD in Brazil. Gosh, I got the info on the Pro Competition. We got the mirror match, sounds like? Yes. That's what I was going to theorycraft a little bit was, you know, what was, how is Zombat feeling about Johnny Cage? Because this is someone that I know him for, that we know him for. All right, so Zombat's in the dark pants. That's how I'm going to make this work in oh, my this head. this is going to be tough. Light pants pulse. LPP? That's right. New yeah, nickname. You know me. LPP. Is pulse getting a hit Oi. there? A little too early on the shadow kick. As the painting phases out of existence. And this is the truest mirror that can exist. We'll see if he can do it just a little bit better. Zombat trying to lay down the law, but whiffs everything in a half. Oh, got him! No, not for long. Pulse, out of there. It's still coming, and I'm coming. Oh, no, just walked in that full screen, though. Wait on both, gets the air to air. Pulse, no, no, no punch, no nothing right there. And that's gonna cost him, that will connect. Oh, the haymaker. Ugh. Is he gonna be okay? No. <laughs> Especially after that. And the way he screams with the camera on the way down. It's a good acting and job. Something back to what, you know, you know the, the rain hit animations with the weird screams, same thing here. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And, and every, every voice actor was different in yeah. how they approached it. That's yeah, true. Great, great stuff. That low hat. Clip and Pulse trying to make a jump over, though. Combat says, thank you, Shaolin, for the assist. A lot of people throwing while, the, while their uh, cameras are still on the screen, too. Yeah. 
can be a tight timing. You want to get the throw as soon as possible, of course. Which Johnny? Did the crowd's in. Oh, yeah. boy. Everybody in the chat. Oh, yeah, I bet. I bet the Johnny player is going to win. Thanks, y'all. That's a good point. I would have done the same. But Zombat establishing a little bit of dominance in that one. <laughs> Only losing sub 100 HP. Johnny Focused. Mm-hmm. Round one, fight. One, oh. Zombat does a full hold of the Lao Hat, falls it in. That's how we get started. He's the one setting the tone here in this one. Yeah, it really seems that way. Again, same idea. He gets a juggle too. And by the end of this combo, Lao's going to be fully back. And great defense. The blocks are here. Pulse. Light pants pulse. Oh, okay. You know, that's all right. Oh, didn't follow? Didn't go to like a special move right there? Off his one, two, four, but I just that still a lot of meter. And the hat still had a little more, a little more cameo than he did to get the extra hold. When you're holding the low hat, of course, of, of Kung Lao, look up at the cameo meter. And how much meter you have left is how long you can hold it. It drains quick. That's almost chip point nine two. Uh, oh, he did get there in time. Okay. I like the idea from Pulse. You got to get over it, but, you know, Zombat knew what was coming. Round Almost a checkmate situation. Five. I was trying to parry through. Nice one, the blockable following that low hat in two. I tried to anti-air, but not nah, Zombat with landing. Jump kick, he's into pressure, just like that. Throw out of the corner. And I love how messy it gets when two Lao Hats hit the screen. Because if someone holds it and someone doesn't, uh -huh. some crazy things can happen. We've seen a lot of situations where the person that throws it first gets the hit, but the one that held saves them in the end. Oh, that weird thing. There's the low. Oh. Yeah, Pulse understandably giving a lot of leeway here. And, and that will be, yeah, Finally got some hype going. Is Zombat here. Finally seeing him come to life. Both combat and Johnny Cage. That dude about four went back to the start of this game. <laughs> Johnny Cage. Almost main menu. Light pants pulse. Johnny Cage. Not gonna switch characters. Okay, so it's a cameo switch. I still say I should play me in the biopic. Combat. Well, I look just like you. With the black on black. Like it's unfair too. that they gave us the same shades and the same shirt. Round one. Fight. I'm just looking at the pants. I don't know about the rest of this character. Well, there's plenty of room in this mansion. And it's on Johnny's mansion, there's, too. There's plenty of room Home in the territory. mansion for both of them. There's plenty of room. Yeah, I don't know if there is. I don't know if they agree with that. You might be right. The world's not big enough for two Johnnies. No. That might be lower. At least they're fighting at a comfortable 72 degrees. <laughs> Very comfortable. It's probably 72 outside, but he, but he still has a central I mean, he's, on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's just clearly pumping with the windows open, so. Oh, and speaking of pumping, somebody's been pumping out damage, plus frames, and a prison that's going, wait, oh. hey, what in the world? Don't tell me Cyrax that is plus on block. Yeah, yeah. No. For, are you for real? Yeah. I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> David, don't even talk to me for this. Wasn't it, isn't it 2-0? Am I wrong? I thought that Zombat won the first one as well. Okay, I, okay. I could be wrong. All right. We're all getting mixed up here. It is Johnny. Both full bar meter. Close to the height is Zombat if he wants to try to style us again. And there's the low. Yes. Uses the hat. Just like you saw with Giras in the multitude of uh, mains that we saw from him. Put down Kung Lao hat. Do your setup, whatever your character has to set up. So good. Hype is activated. Plus two. Guess again, I can not push any time. It's gone. That's, that's the crazy thing about hype is you have to worry about invisib invincibility yeah, for at sure. any time. For sure. Super cool mechanic. Light pants pulse. Pressuring. Looking for get the kill in the round. I think he's got it. Bombs away. Mm. Listen to the scream. 
<laughs> it's, it's visceral. Another award and pulse. Fight. Is on the board. Great block. Got a little early on the send or in at a cameo bar. Oh, nice. What a pickup low. Reads the parry. And combat with the stand one, but still still knew that it was his turn. It wasn't gonna check in time for the 4-3 after. Nice block on the low. Cyrax to the rescue almost. Maybe not for long, actually. As Zombat has the corner. Backs off to get the hat pressure. He's in the corner now. He's in the corner, but it's his turn. No longer. Whose house is it? That's what they're battling over. That's what it's all about. Zombat saying it's mine right now. Even though my back's to the wall, watch this. Oh, he's blocked. Light pants pulse, making it happen up close. Cyrax is not back quite yet. Was a four throw. Okay. Had to spend the three to get out of there. So oh! Real quick and just held up for it at the end. The lazy boy ender falling from the sky with the jump kick. If he didn't have the breaker, what could have been right there? That was just a momentum killer yeah. for Pulse in the end. What an up block. It was about to maybe start something magical. Combat, taking a deep breath. I'm glad this one's over with. Hey, but huge shout out to Pulse. round of applause. Let's hear it. He ends up in fourth place. Give it up for Pulse. Yeah, net plus one. Don't tell me that, man. It, it really is. No, it's I'm, not. I'm serious. Cyrax net is not plus on block. <laughs> it's literally it's plus one. No, it's Do you want, I got Combat Academy on right now if you want to check it out. <laughs> yep. I'm literally showing him. <laughs> plus one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, because it takes a long time to start up, so you know you gotta have reward, right? Think about it. You don't want Cyrax to be worse, right? <laughs> so anyway, we're in grand finals. Hey, when's Ninja Killer playing? I hate that you used logic on me right there. It, it, it sound <laughs> logic. It has a really slow start. It, it does. Be good I agree with that. When's Zombat playing? Right now, again, well, he's gonna stay up there. Here, as we are going straight into losers finals. I. Uh, me from, correct me if I'm wrong. I think Zombat got fourth at the first final combat. So our three of our top four tonight, ladies and gentlemen, are three of our top four from the entirety of the pro competition that happened three years ago. Three and it, a half years ago. So in this new era, has much changed? I thought this was a new timeline. Luke King, what are you doing? Yeah. He made Cyrax Nets plus. He made Cyrax Nets plus. <laughs> what are a you genius. kidding me? Yeah. Liu Kang. But no, that says a lot about these players. Cyrax. That they can do it across multiple titles and ages. I saw you they said, Tana. new era? No. No? It's me across different eras. I mean, honestly, jokes aside, it is extremely impressive that these players have had such consistency over such a long period of time. They really are some of the best in the world. As we load into Losers Finals, we got Zombat on one side, we got Ninja Killer on the other. Let me hear it out there. Let's go, we got some good crowd noise out there, ready for the combat. Ninja, oh, making the immediate first read of the duck. He's gonna make Zombat pay the iron price for it. Oh, literally, because that's what Cyrax has made about 98% of. Chilling behind the lat. Jumps some plus frames. He wants to avoid those pl those plus threes of Johnny all day long. That plus three, and he can flawless block that. Take away some of that frame data. I think that Ninja Killer might be the very first person to flawless block just one one of Johnny. Very tough to do. He's flawless blocking Lao Hats as they approach too. That's kind of scary. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Lots of funky little timings here from Zombat trying to take his turn, maintain his turn. He got some damage out of it. Hey, break, of course. The way he scooted back in the Johnny movement. Put himself in a bad spot, though. Okay, it's his turn. Okay. Oh. Took a risk, and he was right. That normal has such a bigger hitbox than you expect it to, especially forward. And shades of that going back to MK9. Big old Johnny with him. Back there, it's a 4-3 in this one. Zombat's using it all. Does 
Doesn't have enough pickup on the Cyrax. Continue that one. Ninja trying to get in at the down three. It's been consistent. Mm -hmm, yeah, he has gotten it before. Johnny gets to set things up. Here he comes. And how aggressive they are in dashing up and baiting with dash up nothing. It's been so, so prevalent throughout the set. And hello! That's not the first time Zamas put the Lao hat down and been able to react mm. to the approach with the upshot. He's trying his best to oppress him in this round. Zombat down in life up. Approaching. He's got it. And Ninja away. And I'm coming. Not enough hit advantage though as Ninja ducks through it. And we'll take the round. Builds the meter and puts you to the corner. That's just an optimal way to end that round from start to end. Ooh, half footsies. Another one. Already has both of them back. Ooh, okay. Awesome. Excellent stuff by Zombat. It's and on the approach. Like okay, oh, time no. to party. Not Maybe a, not. Not enough hit advantage, I guess, to go into the nut punch. Oh, and this is perfect from Ninja to kill all the time of the hype meter with the combo. Oh! And good trade, just gonna avoid Johnny getting something off that hat. Something I wish I'd see more people do is challenge it with something that's gonna lose a turn. Yeah, your biggest individual damage dealer there, down two. It still hurts raw. It scales yeah. like crazy in combos, yeah, but yeah, raw? Yeah. If you only need to get one hit, there you go. He's got Cyrax still. He might be scheming for the round in the game. He's got it! 1-0, Ninja Killer, as a reminder. Nobody's taking games off this dude the whole tournament except for Sonic Fox. The proverbial run continues. A little bit of a difference in how much damage these characters dish out. With a similarity in what, in what they can do to your health bar on block. But you see how much damage Ninja can do. Be a little bit of a difference maker in some of these matches to be able to half-life someone on a touch. Mm -hmm. Speaking of half-life, already Johnny's below it. <laughs> Oh, the no first, hat. The first one to go blocked by Ninja Killer tonight. Or... Oh yeah, the crowd likes it? Okay. The in-game crowd. Finishes the string. I'm just getting the throw. Better for the position now. As he, I mean, Ninja's been right on so many attempts. Of him approach him with that low hat, which is about what he's all he's got to do in this matchup if he's not going to get zoned out by the billion electrical orbs that Raiden's ready to possess. Yeah, you really do see him neutralizing a lot of stuff that other people are not. His offense remains fantastic, of course, but defensively, you talked about how he's been follows blocking strings, he's been follows blocking hats, he has evaded hats a lot. Here's another yeah. example of that. Ninja Kill finding out that the best way not to deal with something is to not deal with it. To not be there? This is, look, it's a versus game, man. That's been versus game mantra ever since the, the sub-genre of fighting games began. Don't be there. All you gotta do is go back in time, and what better game to do that in than in this one? It's all about time. Ooh. Using all of the forbidden strings now. Is Zombie looking to throw something new at Ninja? Just so sit back down real quick. Look, like there was a gap that Ninja got a, was, it, was that like a meterless Superman startup? He was definitely doing bodily, yeah. Uh. Ninja conceding the round. Oh, I mean, definitely conceding the round. Yeah, yeah. But I think he did that just to get out of the corner. Meanwhile, almost put himself in the corner with that one if he would have crouched. Oh, sick. Another right read on the hat summit. That was so smart. Yep, getting away. So he could reset the situation and get the Lao hat out and get started yet again. Just like this. Unafraid to challenge with buttons on wake up, my goodness. He's building some more meter himself. Try some meter straight projectile. Ooh, it would have been a cool pickup, tough to do. Boom! He did come off the meter. Three bars here. Zombat's out. But to what end? He's got to set things up yet again. Here he comes on the approach. For Escape! Hype is ready, here he is. Activated. Can he get in? Can he make it happen? 
Everyone's drinking out of the get the hit. Blocks this out, would have lost blocks, survived some of this. Woo! Shadow Kick could have done many more, and it's going to deactivate now. Coming. What a block, what patience can he be? Only the second person of the tournament to take a game off Ninja Killer. Johnny waltzing up with the camera to make sure it happens. And it was enough to seal the fate and Johnny just hit Ninja Killer with the DX, <laughs> or so I say, combat just hit this man with the DX taunt. Are you kidding me? Also, the reference from NRS to put that 90s WWF back in the day, reference in there, shout outs. X gonna give it to you. Our second taunt in this top eight. Yeah. And both have been on Ninja Girl. <laughs> You're right. Actually, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's going on here, folks? Is there a secret pack that we don't know about? Low hat. Hey. So, a few times, Ninja jumped back against the versus trying to meet him. Because they've been playing that game of who's going to get the instant jump on a lot quicker when Low Hat's out. Getting some more of that height meter. Ah. Use that. <laughs> Fight. You know, I'm actually impressed that Ninja was looking for a hit conf confirmation on the jump back. That is some footsies right there. It deletes the three bars right away. And now if Zombat finds a hit, it's gonna be big damage. Ninja kill is still getting 285 out of that. Oh, oh huge chance! No, he didn't believe it and he didn't get the rest. And then rather than low hat, teleport comes out. Now it's under some juicy damage too, if it wasn't for the drop. And there's their Zombat dying with full resources. This is not how you want to go. You don't think that he's in range to dash cancel into that, but he is. Yeah. That's what we saw him. Oh man, this is not an easy character to get that on. We saw that in Johnny Mirror, that Johnny doesn't really have great big damage low starters. And so, and okay, right I get it, but this you. is the guy who does. A taunt right back at you. Okay, Ninja. Combat thinking hard. We know he's got a few other characters. Sounds like back to character select. And I don't know if he's going to switch, Mirror? but at least it'll take some time. Yeah, right, we've seen the Raiden. We've seen the Lu. It's up to him. Might be thinking one of the two big ones. Is it just Lauer Cyrax? Whoa, whoa. Trying to change up the shirt, maybe? That would be a big switch, not one we've seen from him today. But he's thinking about it. Hovering over Lau, hovering over Lou. Huge decision to make here in Losers Finals. If he loses this next game, it will be a rematch. Sonic Fox versus Ninja Killer in Grand Finals. Johnny Back to Johnny. Johnny. Will he switch cameo? Nope. He just wanted to over the Okay, I get right it, yep. Yeah. Once I wrap Ninja Priest, I'm all yours. Ninja Priest, is that the next movie? After Ninja Mime, he goes from being a mime to a priest. Wait a minute, what kind of what kind of just, story just arc is that? Just a classic story arc. What kind of know? story arc is that? What? From a mime to a priest? Make it happen in a little bit. <laughs> I love it. So they're, uh, gonna, they're gonna get it ironed out up there on the stage, but yeah, it remains a pretty sizable advantage for Ninja Killer in this situation. I mean, you know, yet again, Ninja Killer trying to get back up to what seems like the faded rematch yes. versus Sonic Fox. We already saw it in winner's finals. It was 3-1. Who knows what happens in grand finals, though? Yeah, this is going to be great, guys. Either way, it's sliced. Zombat's still in this as well. Yep. Fantastic start to the pro competition, I would say. And again, going back to the fact that there hasn't been a pro competition for years. Right, right. There hasn't been a lot of activity. Something happened in, in March 2020 that prevented anything more happening. I don't remember exactly. Who knows right. at this point? Awful, but, awful lot, but a lot of offlines didn't occur. A lot, yeah. a lot oh, of, interesting. A lot of things didn't occur yeah. in that time. And so we're coming into a really wild, wild west era uh, where, you know, it's a new game, new everything. Everyone's coming as a melting pot. We, we, we see so many names coming out that we haven't seen in a long time. So That's many true. new names as well. It's, That's it's, also it's true. a great start to the pro competition that I think is only going to get better. And yet, and especially as more people find out that it's even happening. As you said, 
three finalists that we have here were in the top four of that same event that you mentioned back in March of 2020, the week before the world ended. As we're all trying to come back to life, not just from there, but from the two days of East, East Coast throwdown prior to this. It has been a long one, ladies and gentlemen. But this is, you know, th that's a massive shout out to East Coast Throwdown and the tour for giving so much stream time to MK1 this weekend, which is awesome. That like, has been day, great. We got a chance to all see Friday, all of the pools. Saturday and Sunday, which is awesome to see. Yeah, that has been really, really great. As just a fan of watching it when I wasn't up here commentating, I was out there in the crowd yeah. watching it. I was up in my room watching it. You now it's been watching the whole thing, of course. It was really nice that to has been great. on stream because I was able to kind of walk around and, and check it out as we were yeah. going to. It was awesome. Yeah. Definitely, definitely right. Oftentimes when you come to a major, you can't really see most of the action, right? If you're not physically in the major, I mean, if you're just at home, right, you get a, a slice of what's happening, but a lot of the stuff is happening out there there where everybody's playing on the setups. Luckily this time we did actually get to see almost all of the qualifiers. Uh, Especially in that top 24 range where you usually only get those kind of few yeah, winners matches while everything happens off stream. A yeah, really good job from the entire team here, a massive team here, putting that entire thing together um, here at the Pro Competition and East Coast Throwdown. This, this crew's been great. The area's great. It's, 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 had an, it's had an old school feel and always has does East Coast Throwdown. Love the feeling here for sure. It's very homey feeling for us in the FGC. We're in. Round one, Johnny Lau yet again for Zombat. Okay, the start, the brave start for and him. And he spent 10 minutes in that chair thinking about round one fight shadow kick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what Ninja Kill is not gonna expect? The unexpected. And he's waiting for him to whiff, as they both do, fighting themselves and their shadows as the sun's peeking through the glorious Deadwoods in the back. It's but, a beautiful stage. So I know those trees are hungry. Yeah? You think that cute little baby face tree right behind Johnny right now is hungry? I would love to feed someone to, the, to that baby in the tree, yes. The baby Groot, he's starving. <laughs> Pick it up on that one in a sec. Zombat trying to chase. And look at that, put the plus two out, and was like, go ahead, Ninja Whiff. Oh, like no! That was sick. Come on. And then knowing the gravity was high, he just ended it with Babale. Was on that. Whoa! Okay, almost max hype after that. Round two. Fight. One more. That was hey. a little something new that he threw in the offense right there. And notice what he does in the back dash, guys. Really changing it up so quickly. Ooh, oh, come on, that is good whiff punishing. Not only a button, but that dude did dash into the button. Into very fast nine frame button, no less. Zombat's in there for pressure. It's still not hey. over. Oh my goodness, it is not your turn. Zombat, with the time, able to make the adjustments, get every single thing that this character is capable of doing going. The hype, the reads everything. He did a lot more setting up whiff punishing. It was almost all that. He did low hat and walked back. He would do something on block, back, back dash back. Mm -hmm. He was whiff punishing with just back dash, raw 4-3, even the one you called out where he dash canceled into his punish. Yeah, that was sick. Disgusting. Drawing first blood here. Wait a minute. The prophecy. Something's in the way. Will the timeline be different this time? Zombat with the down one interruption. It was his turn briefly, not anymore. Backing off. Footsies. Oh. Ninja, I don't think he's gotten one clean whiff punish on that normal in particular, just because he's doing it from so far away. But he's trying. Mm -hmm. Oh, what a duck, but nothing else. Cyrax making it work. Spinning in, hit anyway. As low hat was there. Zombat undeterred right back in. Three bars gone for a ninja killer. This is not, look, not looking not good coming. whatsoever. Both Laos in play. The meter could be close. <gasps> oh, oh no! Not like he that. thought that was going to be the round, and so he held it to build the height meter and said ninja killer's in. Will he get the round on this? It's not enough. Shutting over the chip, but he missed it down three. <gasps> Superman, and it's not enough. Combat. That says 1.45 HP up there. That's what was remaining to get up to match point. Believable. One whiff down three is all that separated him there. 
and Ninja gets some damage on the board. He's got the corner. Cannot let go. And Zombat with the audacity to just wake up forward dash grab. Nobody beat Ninja Killer the whole tournament until Sonic Fox and now Zombat on the cusp of doing it again. Hey! No conversion though. Ninja Killer, okay. Takes the three bars from Zombat. I have expected the hype load right there behind the hat. We are not seeing him able to escape as many of these hat setups as before. We're not seeing him able to flawless block as many of them as before either. Oh, that be said, here he can pump out the damage. Oh what, no! Going the wrong way, but Zombat! I don't know what he tried to wake up with. Maybe got a negative edge. Hype's ready. Activated. The spotlight's on him. Ready to go. Is this surely supposed to have been hat? No! Cyrax, what are you doing? Hype is gone. No, Zombat's gonna need to make some huge reads if he wants to steal it now. Trying to get more hype again. It's possible. I don't know if he's gonna get the chance. So down two will do it. We are in the final game, final round situation to get in the grand finals. Let's get it going. Started as he always has. Zombat with that low hat to establish a little bit of presence, but no, gets nothing off it. And then just to jump at me over one more time. I've been down two in you all day. I even got the anti crossover on deck. Oh, feeling dizzy. Prioritizing a corner is Ninja Killer. Trying to backdash, denied by Ninja Killer. That's as huge with no breaker. Ninja going for the throw right now. Match point to set up the and prophetic match. With yeah. Here we go, time to guess. Oh, Ninja Killer will do it to set up the rematch with Sonic Fox in Grand Finals. Not gonna happen for Zombat, but give it up for him in third place! Man, that was back and forth. That was a heartburn of a match. We're gonna take a look back at it here with the Mountain Dew instant replay, the redo. The deal over. What a set. Yeah, where Zombat started to get crazy. I think even taunting him here at the end. Post fatal. Got him with a DX. And that's what Ninja was laughing at right there. <laughs> is he got hit by the Triple H. The Triple H DX. Woke Ninja up. Took the lead 2 1. Yeah, but then Zombat woke up. And, and then there was that break. Yeah. Zombat really thought to himself. And then after all that time, Raw shadow kicked when the match started. And that set the tone, because it worked. And there... That was the, just a huge swing. You know, you gotta think back on that. And then in the second round, some huge swing moments that really could have changed things up. Yeah, even right there, Zombat almost letting go of that, of that first round. Yeah. Ninja still not, not letting it phase him. And then Ninja and the Killer safety anti first. I did. Yeah, the yeah, most anticlimactic end. But just playing real been. safe, walking backwards, getting out of there. If you let Johnny dance in front of you for long enough, if you don't know, and you're just sitting there blocking, eventually he's got an unblockable hit. So you can't be there. Get out of there. Yeah, just get out of, just just, get out of the range. Yeah. Let him do his thing. Did the smartest thing possible. Just projectile. Yeah. Out of the range. Yeah. You're good to go. And that is going to be Ninja Killer setting up, again, what feels like the Mortal Kombat prophecy. Mm -hmm. what, what feels... Destined to be 1-2 in some regard, more times than not, in any bracket they possess. Sonic Fox, Ninja Killer, our grand finals once more to start this pro competition. Sonic on the winner's side has the cushion. Ninja, are you looking for answers? Will there be any change in the winner's side match? Sonic. Definitely uh, going to be rain. rain. Yeah. I, as far as I know, that's all that they've played throughout this tournament. I've been to Saito, seen the destruction. Then you know just how powerful I am. Rain's got a point. Oh, uh, yeah. Have you seen the tower ending? I have actually, yeah. I beat yeah. them, yeah. <laughs> he's he's kind of he's powerful if, if, you, if you really think about it. Yeah, totally. And we got Shang Tsung's Christmas tree to start this Grand Finals, guys. This is the pro competition. Sonic Fox, Ninja Killer, first blood, first big old damage in corner carry. Going to the Thunder God. And getting bubbled. To the corner you go in, Sonic says, I'm not done with you either. Oh, what a jump out. 
and totally denying Cyrax mattering at all there. <laughs> Taking away the ability to matter. Full conversion there, and really tight to get the second hit of that 4-2 yeah. in your juggle. And there's Sonic. Says you can go ahead and either try to fight me or the water that I'm going to put in front of me. Because that's what he's been dealing with the entire time. Lord knows this stage could use a lot of water. It could use a lot of cleaning. <laughs> Ship it out. Solid start. I don't want to hurt you. Yeah, you do. Come on. Don't believe it. I don't, I don't, I don't, believe, I don't believe a single word. I don't believe it. I'm worried that Raiden's going to grab that thing in the background and do something unholy with it. Which that thing, dude? This uh, is uh, <laughs> the electricity that's going to power him up. I'm, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm, no, you're right. I'm, I'm petrified. That plus the amulet? Another rain god. Those, those are getting false fucked by Ninja on the way in, too. Which may form a punishable situation if he gets close enough into it. Ooh, portal time. Sonic does not use that portal for much, besides the mind game of like the visual mind game on block. Yeah, like but, button into stealing negative. turns. Yeah. Yeah, slightly negative, and then armor becomes a guess. Yep. Oh, okay. Ninja Killer was ready for that. He's definitely seen that one before. I think the first one to probably check a car throw of brains. Yeah, and checks there. Again, as we mentioned, the idea there is button into portal to try to steal a turn. Ninja Killer is denied it. Because the string's naturally, I think, minus four on block, so I would think that canceling of that would still be a negative. And yeah, no, yeah, totally. It's just visually, you you know, you got to be look, looking out for it. Oh, and Ninja Killer was looking out for it. And game one goes to him. He's got to win a three out of five set, and then another three out of five set. So he's a long way away from taking this tournament still. Round one. It's been in a situation like this before, not overthinking it right now, because he knows that there's such a long road ahead. It's just one at a time here. And boys, up the two wonderful starts. I would have changed the stage. I don't like Raiden on this. He, he gets a damage boost. <laughs> There's electricity in the air, Rain. Here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Is this setup gonna work? Oh, <laughs> unbelievable. This dude saw Rain. Rain was some of the deadliest setups. Wild Oki. Ninja Kill was just out of there. No, thank you. Oh. And maintains the corner after the down two, no less. I think that only tells me that Sonic may have mistimed that, because usually you can stop an attempt of wake up jump, or Ninja didn't delay and just woke up jump. Fantastic either way. He's ready. Yep. And as you said, he's coming. And I'm coming. And he's coming. And, and uses one one as such a stagger tool gives him the gives him the, the triple hitting hit confirm and the special cancel. Does he got the meter? No. <laughs> he was trying to portal out. Finally. Charge. Hey, yes. And finally a raw four three. Oh frames working out. Ninja finally decided to block low for once. Is he full charging? Look, look, look like a decent trade to me. Yeah. Beating him on speed. Needs to be careful of starting some up to Sonic. Threat of teleport will always be there, even though we don't see it much from Ninja. Yeah, no, it's true. He's just got great movement anyway. And he can still scheme and get the approach. Just like this! No! Oh, no! Well, maybe he was trying to deny Breaker, actually, as now. <gasps> oh, he denied Breaker. This guy. What a genius. There were still three bars on the side right there for Sonic Fox. If that had been a full regular conversion, Sonic Fox breaks, they're out. Reset situation. Instead, Ninja Killer denied it all. It wasn't even just one that he did, it was back to back. Yeah. Decisions knowing what to do. Wow, not the start. They don't mix. Oh, he's that's figured I, it out. That's what I've been saying. He's figured it out. So, instead of trying to electrify him on the last stage, he's going to try to freeze him. I see how it is. Tries to watch the toes, he only got the anti-air. See Ninja even knowing the flawless blocks on those strings of rain. Mm. That 2-1-1-2, that 
that string where he swings that staff around. One of the best thing, you know, moves that he has, the strings he has. Multi-hitting on the first, hit confirmable, 100% safe, massive pushback. And they're just reacting with these Supermans. We've seen a lot of them hit. Sonic's holding this corner carry. I lied to your face. Going from Ninja. Oh, they got the false block at least. But still, it's Ninja with corner control. I'm trying to speed run this first set. <laughs> I've seen Sonic do that low from far ranges where I think that it's wanting the Ninja to dash up into that. But Ninja in all of those kind of micro bait situations has been winning them, and that's going to be a shock. Yeah, really hard to convert from that normally without something big range like this, so smart from Fox to bring that out. It was like 460 because it's rain. Yeah, you're saying that's the round? It's going to be close. Bam! One, <laughs> that's the round. I think you're the only mage, right? Yeah, I don't think this is a mage battle. This dude's I, got an amulet. I didn't hear I didn't hear any other mage in our world. Not a not a medium mage or like a low mage. You know, there was nothing. It's just him. So they auto gave him high mage. How much is he gonna dump in? Okay. Enough. That was a yeah, one bar <laughs> and one Cyrax for 460. If I ever ask how much damage Raiden's gonna do, the answer is gonna be enough. And how Sonic uses it in the corner as well. Abusing the gap. Yeah, blowing up the gap. Great just, knowledge. Just the 2 1 of that string, corner only becomes a launcher. Ninja Killer at set point. That does not mean he's going to win the tournament. If he wins this, he's got to win a whole other 3 out of 5 again. But this is the start. And Sonic's missed time that before, but if you see if timed right, and the pit advantage through the Cyrax get the overhead. And forcing the breaker off of Sonic now. So force the reset. Oh, this makes the overhead. Ninja was already from oh, the whiff. I like the idea there by Fox trying to move away and get a whiff punish set up, but it didn't quite work out. Knows all these straight hits led to anything crazy. Cyrax is back. No water bubbles from Sonic to try to stop Anis either. So underneath there with the down three. And now it's time to play. Hey. Kara throw. No Cyrax available. Cyrax here though, a little bit of chip, a little bit of distance. Grab again! And again, no Cyrax, and that's maybe why, oh, it wasn't up for the kill. Why Sonic was going for in those situations, testing testing Ninja to be only looking for it in the moments where it's gonna launch. Really, really smart. Round one. Okay. okay. And you know Sonic wants this over next. Oh yeah, of course. And again, you're trying to whip punish with that back two, which is so cool because it does have a good forward hitbox to it, and it moves rain back slightly. It, it kind of auto footsies for you. Oh, Still and too it, soon. It's so active. Yeah. Have, have you ever seen someone try to jump over it and then they just get smacked behind them all the time? That water is so active. Bl it's bless the whole the, beam, man. Bless the rains down in our world. And there he goes, trying to back to again, but I think about seven have whiffed in a row. But it's about the threat. He's making Ninja think about it. The more yeah, that gotta the, keep it up. The more that Sonic does it, it's gonna give Ninja something to think about. Checks and balances on folks. We You get set for two rides on that one. Two for the two for the price of one. Oh, okay. There is a breaker, probably not there. Yeah, just not a lot of damage, but something to think about. No Cyrax. 18 on the clock now. Very close. Individual hits didn't believe in the rest. Even chip matters here. Oh, blows it up. And hit her block there on reversal again because of Cyrax. That actually would have been a chip out sequence. So Ninja had to commit. Good blocks on the overheads. Still safe though. And gapless on those double overheads. Oh, you never know when that pressure's gonna end. I, yeah. I love his use of that 1 1 string. Not a lot of range using it. They're either using just the mid or like raw mix. The way that they are dancing around with this character. Mm, man, that looks fun. 
Yeah, to, to everyone watching this, even even casuals out there, Rain is an incredibly fun character. There's so many specials to do. They all look cool. Look at him hitting this dance mid Rain God. Yeah. So guys, the got a Cyrax here. Yes. Three bars they have too. And all oh, in suddenly. And Sonic looking to tie up a two, two here. 173 away. Eats. Spent two bars to make Fox spend three bars. I get it. Ninja Killer finds the hit. Ninja tried to empty jump. Sonic waking up with a little bit of buns. They're getting crazy. Kara throw here. And will be it for the win. It's 2 2 now. Tying it up. Going into the final game of set one. If Fox takes this, there will only have been one set, and the tournament will be over. If Ninja Killer takes this game, we're going to another three out of five. And they're going in quick. Start off with a throw. Into Cyrax, name of the game, baby. I'm about to give Ninja Killer the same advice that that one dude gave the uh, guy in Lord of the Rings. You should, you should have taken the wizard staff. You gotta take that thing I from him, man. I told you. That's his weakness. Take the water from him. He's gonna try by shocking it out of here. Ninja jumps over, cleaned over the one one, but not enough recovery to get the punish. Oh, Cyrax, please. Giving Ninja Killer a chance. No, but Sonic Fox is ready there for the tech and puts up minute. the wall, the button wall. Did you see the throw break from Rain where he actually did the Gandalf the staff pound? Sure. Wait. You shall not pause! You shall not throw me! Plus, yes. Sonic. Playing very patient right now. No huge commitment and pressure. Almost got sniped for whiffing that down three. Fall spot yet again, so consistent. Playing this a state of a life. This whole round it feels like has been fought over here in the corner. Ninja Killer finds it! And with only two bars on Sonic Fox's side, they're gonna have to hold a lot of this. Oh no, jump again, eight seconds remain! has the bar, and Sonic now on tournament point because of it. It was in Ninja's hands in that round. round two, Punished, yes. That is really minus up close. Some crazy here, there's the button, there's the aggression. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff Ninja Killer needs. Oh, he oh, takes no! out the drop that cost him in the last one, but we get it back to back. And Sonic looking to pounce as a true fox would in a situation like this. Doesn't get opened up by the mix. You shall not pass. Suddenly it feels like Fox is finding every hit, and Ninja, when he finds the hit, isn't converting. Damn Quit dancing, dancing with with the cancel. Pressure in the corner by Fox. If they find another hit, could be the tournament. Cyrax is there. Oh! Or it did! Sonic needs to win his block in Lightning Cage! Cyrax spinning the win! Flawless block forward dash! And Sonic with Rain is your first pro competition champion! It was finals years ago. In Final Combat, they run it back here. And Sonic re establishing some dominance in Mortal Kombat. Give it up out there for Sonic Box! Sonic said, you shall not pass me ever in Mortal Kombat. What a set. It felt like fate the whole weekend that it would end up between those two. And in that final set, hard to get closer than it was down to the final game of the set. But it's Fox who doesn't. And they are elated, as you can see. Just a so treat. We're gonna take a look back. And, and a treat to watch from start oh, to end. Oh, man, yeah, what a set. Rain, what, one of if not the most intricate character in the game with how many specials he has, all the micro and macro things about them. I think it makes sense in a way that Fox would be one of the people to unlock this character in terms of using them at such a high that level. That was so good to keep it all unbreakable. Ninja really yeah, testing, really smart, testing the limits of Fox in this yeah. one. Almost having the reset. S super knowledgeable Ninja, even in, even in that unorthodox one like Rain. Knowing the gaps in those strings, like like two two uh, two one one, yeah. for example. Looking back at this now, Ninja Killer, remember, was up 
two games had match point. I had set point, I should say. And yet, Sonic Fox brought it all the way back three games in a row. And Sonic got so grab heavy in the last couple yeah. of games, too. Really started to abuse it. In this final game, you know, unfortunately for Ninja Killer, there were a couple drops. Yes. That uh, ended, up, ended up being pretty important, allowing Fox to take the thing. Reverse 302 there named Sonic another champion here in Mortal Kombat, but that top eight was incredible to 16, 24, everything. Top 64 was insane from start to end. This was the first stop, guys. Make some noise out there for the first stop of the pro competition. Our hosts here at East Coast Throwdown. It's been incredible. It's been a blast to watch as we're gonna set up the uh, ceremony out there with the players. Congrats again to Sonic Fox, first place. They've been doing it for years at this point, almost a full decade, in fact. Yes, I, uh, when I first got here, I got, got to sit down for an interview, and they were like, uh, you know, g give, us, give us a little bit of history. And I said, my very first tournament was, uh, my, my first tournament was Sonic Fox's first tournament. Is that right? Sonic was 12. All right. That was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. More than a decade. Yeah, yeah. That's how yeah. long Sonic Fox has been doing this. I went 0-2 I went in that tournament. Sonic, I think, got top eight. I believe it. I totally buy that. Yeah. That, and, and Fox has been on, you know, not just having played fighting games. All they were playing fighting games for many years before that as well, of course, having an older brother who's very strong in games too. But at the apex of the scene for almost a decade at this point. Yes. And, you know, and when everyone talks about these games, they're like Sonic Fox is, is number one. Coming in MK1, it looks like that storyline will continue. Yeah. But we'll find out as the, as the pro competition progresses, as the meta progresses in sure. this game as well, because it, the game didn't come out too long ago. We've only had a few, a few weeks with it, you know, a couple months. Time is kind of weird. Uh, but, you know, it, 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 the meta's developed almost every day. Proof that last night, Gur single-handedly changed the meta of MK1 in that team battle. You know my thoughts on Garrus. I, I think he's super good, <laughs> but I think he's also complicated. It might I, take a little while. I don't know if anyone saw, but yeah. j just that team battle, I saw everyone freak out about a character overnight, and now when everyone gets home, get ready for the land of Gearses and other things that, that people have been finding out here. The meta's going to keep developing. There's still a lot that we haven't found. We're all still learning. I don't even know most things about the game, David. Remember that character, Baraka? Yeah. Wasn't everybody talking about that character? Yeah, where Baraka? was he? Well, uh, he, was, he was up here for like two games, maybe three games. And uh, maybe I guess it was four games in the set, to be fair. But uh, anyway, yeah, it is, it's in a very interesting shape, the game and its meta right now. Things are changing about our character and cameo perceptions, but one thing is for sure that Sonic Fox is the champ. Let's go up to the stage for the ceremony. What's going on, everybody? How y'all doing tonight? That's what I like. Give you a little bit more noise. What's going on, everybody? How you doing? All right, all right, all right, all right. Calm down, calm down. Yo, my name's Duran. I'm the associate manager of eSports at Warner Brothers Games. Glad to have you all here. Thank you all for participating. Thank you all for competing, watching, doing all that you do. You guys contribute. Yo, so that we can do what we do. We appreciate y'all. But can I give it up for our top eight? A little bit louder. Let's go with a noise. Let's go. All right, look, look, look. We're about to give them their medals, all right? So first up, we got VGY. Right? Come on, give them a medal. Let's go. Get him. Shut We got King Gambler. Can you give it up? The Mighty Unjust. We got my man Rewind. Our boy Pulse. Give it up. Give it up. We got Zombat! Ninja Killer! And your first Mortal Kombat 1 Pro Competition Champion! Give it up for Sonic Boy! Rain will fall upon 
upon you like daggers from the sky. Y'all better watch out for that rain. Yo, everybody, give it up one more time for our top eight. Look, we do not get here without all of you. So give it up for yourselves one more time, please. Please, thank you, thank you. Look, there's more to come. Again, we appreciate you all for participating this whole weekend. Please, one, one time for the ECT staff. Let's go. There we go, there's some hard working folk out here now. These some hard working folk. All right, well, this has been a wonderful night. This competition's been amazing, absolutely amazing. And I hope you all have a one absolutely great evening. Please get home safe. And uh, we have more information coming for you with the pro competition. So please make sure you're following NRX Esports on Twitter. Make sure you're following the Mortal Kombat account as well. Just stay up to date on everything we got going on, all right, y'all? Look, I hope you have a great night, all right? Take it easy. That, that is one of the coolest prizes in FGC. It is. You know, a super, super sick prize Coveted. right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome work. Uh, and something that I think that Fox is going to cherish. Obviously, they have a lot of very interesting bespoke stuff that they've won over the years. Sonic has rooms. <laughs> yeah, I bet, I bet, yeah. Of trophies. I bet. That's with an S. I, you are probably right. You are probably right. And if you want to get in on getting your hands on some great Mortal Kombat-related merch, we do have ways that you can do that. Uh, we have a lot of stuff that is for sale up on WBShop.com. Check it out. MK1 merch is there. Some characters. If you happen to be into Luke King, does anybody like Luke King or Scorpion or Katana? Oh, everybody? There you go. As it turns out. They're up there. Uh, lots of other stuff there as well. Please check it out. And of course, you are watching right now on NetherRealm on Twitch. Make sure you give it a follow if you haven't yet on TikTok and, and on YouTube as well. Mortal Kombat is where you can follow it all. Again, well, live pick on up TikTok merch. and YouTube as well. They've actually been live streaming over there. And I heard the chat over on TikTok was actually really good. I heard that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah from the same guy at the same time that you did. Let's go. Yeah, that's true. Uh, check it out if you are interested in watching over there. And again, WBShop.com is where you can pick up the merch. Check it out, guys. Thank you so much for watching this pro competition stop. As well, we have to thank. I chugged one of them all the way. I, you, uh, he I, did. I chugged all this, and it was off, off camera. I didn't even realize yeah, I was yeah, off yeah, camera, yeah. but you know, it is what it is. Mountain you, Dew, he fantastic. committed to the bit. I was committed. It was fantastic. <laughs> Gave me the rush to get through top eight. Thank you guys so much for being here. And thank you to Mountain Dew uh, here to, on the pro competition. This has been Mr. Aqua. It's been Ultra David, and we're going to be saying goodnight, guys. One more shout-out to Mountain Dew. Now, through December 29th, you can purchase specially marked Mountain Dew products to receive a code for new users for a free month of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. Go check that out. They've got more stuff coming throughout uh, the year later on at MountainDewGaming.com, MTNDewGaming.com. Thank you. That's, that's it for us here at the Pro Comp. Just stop at East Coast Throwdown. More to come at the Pro Comp. Follow NRS Esports. Follow Mortal Kombat. Follow us. Follow the community. We love you. We'll see you next time. Good night.